Hello. Hi there. Welcome to podcast number eight. Eight. Yep, we're at eight. Are we finally at the point you'll stop saying, we're at eight? <laughs> no. <laughs> Every episode. <laughs> we're you... at nine. Wow, counting. Oh. No, this it still feels like we did two or three. Okay. So we have a topic, but uh, first I'll just, I watched a bunch of movies this week. Okay. Um, I don't know if you've like, no, 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 T- put your mic back there. Oh, why? I don't, maybe you've seen some of them. I was giving them. you the floor. Maybe you've seen some of them. Uh, I watched. I have not, I can tell you that. I talked about this with Bond and Resident Evil 4 today as well. Uh, so while I'm thinking about it, cause I watched a ton of movies. I watched Manchester by the Sea. Have you seen that? Nope. Okay. All right. Fair enough. <laughs> nope. Good movie. Uh, I'd recommend it for sure. Um. And if you want m- more thoughts on that, go check out Resident Evil 4, part thir- 43, I think. And not the podcast. Yeah. Where we give thoughts on things like movies. Yeah. But. <laughs> Irony. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's the thing. Um, I watched um, I'm Still Here. Nope. The uh, Joaqu- Joaquin Phoenix movie. The uh, documentary from the time when he went on <laughs> David Letterman. And uh Oh, that's what you're watching the other night. Yeah. yeah. That was very loud. Yeah. That's all I have to say about that movie. Uh it, it was, was a fucking weird movie. It was very loud. You had it playing very loud. I have everything playing very loud. I like it that way. Um Well it, I can hear it very very easily through You my know, room. sometimes I hear things from your room. Do you do? I really do. Oh like what? We shouldn't talk about no. it. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> so um I didn't know. Um what else? Did I watch that? Oh, first off, that movie's weird. Uh, I get why it has a mixed critical reception, but no, I do hear movies from your room sometimes too. Movies, yeah, I don't watch movies. I hear something, maybe it's games, it's usually like orchestrated music. Oh, it might be just me working on music. I don't think so. Nah, it's on the fuck do I do that? It's probably no, yeah. games. Um, but yeah, I get why that movie had a weird reception i'm just gonna go over these movies all really quick because maybe you've seen some um they portrayed they portrayed joaquin phoenix like a total fucking prick and uh you're supposed to think it's real so it kind of puts strange. it kind of puts you in a weird position as a viewer obviously now we know like it wasn't real but at the time like it was probably like holy shit <laughs> and watching it it was like holy shit because they did a lot of fucked up shit in that movie but uh, again, more thoughts on that in that same Resident Evil episode. Um, fuck, I watched Alien and Aliens recently as well. You've seen those, right? Good shit. You've seen both of them? Uh, quite a while ago. Okay. I don't remember a whole lot. I think I liked Alien better, uh, which doesn't really surprise me. <laughs> but uh, Aliens was pretty good as well, I think. Different different kinds of movies. One of them's horror and the other one is action. So that's an interesting thing about those. Um what else did I see? I saw I saw a movie that I'm gonna recommend to you at the end, so I won't say oh it boy. right now. Oh boy, well I already know what it is. Yeah, you do, but shh. Don't break the illusion. Oh, oh, what could it be? Yeah, you have no idea. They don't know yet, so there's that. Um, <clears throat> What the fuck is this? But it doesn't stop there. What are you talking about? What are you asking what the fuck what is? You there? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to Google this. <laughs> Hold up. I want to know what this is. Because... For whatever re- I was like, I was texting, shocker, and yeah. like, is it, I guess it's a thing. What? Because like, I was just typing and like, I was ty- doing a typo, and then all of a sudden, my phone recommends me like, well, it looks like a bunch of gibberish, but it's not, I guess. Your phone said that? It like, you know, like in the autofill? Yeah. I just put T-H-Y-S- and then it's just like, Thysenkrupp. And I'm like, what? <laughs> oh, 
Oh, okay. I, I get what you mean. Okay. The, I'm yeah. like, I don't remember ever fucking up that bad, so it remembers it, but... No, I've I've had stuff like that, for sure. Why, why, did, why did this pop up in my phone? Like, recent... What the... Okay. It's what your phone wanted to say. It's okay. a German multinational conglomerate that focus on industrial engineering and steel production. Mm-hmm. Wow. Thank you, phone, for giving me that information. Let me go and pull up the list again. Sorry, continue on. I will, uh, I guess. I just had to get that out there. I keep forgetting. I saw this movie once, which you definitely haven't seen. <laughs> so I won't even ask. But uh, it was like a musical romance kind of movie from uh, 2007. And um, I didn't think there was a lot to it aside from the music, honestly. The music was pretty fucking great, but um, there wasn't much in the way of dialogue and storytelling I didn't feel like anyway. Mm -hmm. But still pretty good. Um, The music is definitely worth checking out. Um, I saw Synecdoche, New York and The Holy Mountain Mr. Your Movie Sucks dot org's two top favorite movies of all time. And they were fucking weird as shit. I returned the Holy Mountain as soon as I saw it. All right. That's his favorite movie of all time. Uh, weird shit, dude. And apparently uh, the Beatles manager had like a lot to do with that movie. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. And uh, 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 what's his name? George Harrison? Was supposed yeah. to be the lead in that movie. Interesting. But it ended up being this other guy. Uh, George Harrison, I guess, wouldn't do it. I heard on Sardonicast he wouldn't do it because there's a scene where the guy has to, like, fucking take a shit and then sit in this, like, tube where the, the shit is, uh, like, burned and the fumes are... He's, like, fumigated with the smell of this burning shit. That's disgusting. It's a weird fucking movie, dude. Jesus. And he, yeah, and, he, and he's Jesus. He looks like Jesus. All right. <laughs> and, um, then it, and then, and then, why were they trying to get George, not John? Then, if he's supposed to look like Jesus, I don't know. But <laughs> uh, it went through each of the uh, planets after that, and uh, each planet had their own uh, like fucking weird shit about it. Like it was weirdly funny, but God damn is it like it's definitely an art film <laughs> there's no dialogue yeah. for the first half hour all right yeah but uh I, I, i'm all right with that um a lot a lot a lot of weird shit in there <laughs> again i went into a bit more depth in in that resident evil video synecdoche new york was uh, a little more digestible i feel like for a casual viewer but it was also still weird as fuck and there's like a lot of shit that you wouldn't pick up on um just the first time you watch like adam's got or yeah yms has got a uh so far five part series on just that movie and each part is 20 minutes long so far and uh I learned that I wasn't watching the movie when I watched the movie because I didn't catch any of that shit. <laughs> and I think the last one I saw was uh, by the same director, um, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. You know that one? Nope. It's got Jim Carrey in it. Neat. You don't like Jim Carrey now? Is, he, is it serious Jim Carrey? It's serious Jim Carrey. Ew, interesting. Yeah, um, but like he, he's got his trademark Jim Carrey face, and he puts it to work a few times in that movie. His animated face. Yeah, it was from two thousand four, so kind of around uh, his his prime. I guess his prime was the nineties, but whatever. That movie was good too. Probably the most digestible of the more artsy films that I saw. I guess. I think that's uh I think that's everything. And you've seen none of that except the aliens movies. Yeah. So yeah. Watch I'm more just, movies. Yeah, I, I yeah, I probably should. I'm just noticing how 
close that Wario is to that candle flame. Yeah, well... I think it's fitting. My friend Austin from New York sent me... Randomly, I might add, like, not for Christmas, not for my birthday or anything. Actually, like, his birthday just happened, and he just gave me big news that he's having a, a kid. Well, his wife is. <laughs> um, And he decided to send me presents. And he sent me a Wario and a Waluigi. And, uh... And he told me that I should know what to do with them. Of course, I'm going to have to blow Wario up with a firework. And with Waluigi, I'm going to have to build a shrine for Jesus himself. I'm sorry it's just me today, guys. Um, It's good. I've just got nothing to comment on. <laughs> well, you brought it up. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it was just anecdotal. Well, I felt like it had to be described. All right. I'm also very tired. Cool. Uh, then I guess we'll get to the list. Yeah. So we're and gonna, you should watch more movies, and I'll I'll tell you the last movie well, you at should the end. Suck me more. At the end of this uh, podcast, I'll I'll say the last one. So since I'm tired, I'm probably gonna say some really stupid shit, especially because we're gonna be spitting opinions pretty much this whole podcast. Cool. Well, let's uh. My mouth feels very strange. Let's read this. We're doing the uh we're going through the top 100 video games of all time from uh IGN. Mm, a reputable gaming reputable source. Uh review outlet as most of you know. And this will probably be updated the, the place that will say, "Oh, this game has this many issues." It's not very good. And at the end of the review... 9 out of 10. Yep. It's all okay. There's something in it for everyone. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Donkey made a video on it. A couple uh-huh. videos all about that shit. Um, so I want to read what they say, uh, how they considered things for this list. Okay. And I also want to say they're going to update this shit um, after we do this video. So this list is ever changing as far as I can tell. So they say... How much did this game impact us, and can it still be considered an excellent game in 2019? This meant we de-emphasized the importance of longer influence on the industry. Even if many of the games on 2019's list were hugely influential, if it were based on influence, 90% of the games would be from before 2003. Although, some of the games on this list may be a little long in the tooth. Whatever that means. Yeah, okay. We still believe every one of them stands up as an incredible gaming experience to this day. Other considerations, we didn't want this list to be inundated with Zeldas and Marios, so we cut what we felt wasn't the peak of those series in order to make room for different games. Oh. Blah, 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 blah. Everything else seems like I don't need to read it. Whatever. Okay. Let, oh, fucking so, Jesus so instead, Christ. So instead of like actual... So it's weird. They already like... Um, they already cut themselves off. Or like, um, not because what the fuck is the word when you go against what you say? Um, cognitive dissonance. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Definitely not that. <laughs> um, sorry, sorry, headphone users. Um, no, like inconsistency. Um, contradict. Yeah, they already contradicted themselves. There you go. Where they said like, oh, um, so we're not doing it based on influence. But instead, as what the experience is, like the base experience of the game, yeah, which I agree with, I can get behind that. But they're all but at the same time they're like, we're gonna purposely not include, try to include lots of Zeldas or Mario's, uh-huh. so there's not too much of that in a hundred games to make room for other ones. Ah, uh, so I just think that's a little like, hmm. I can kind of get behind both, kind of. Kind of. Both make sense, but the kinda. fact that they're trying to do it at the same time is a little like, hmm. The first part of, uh, like, I think games should be definitely um, looked at for how influential they are. Like, that does count to me. Maybe it shouldn't, but I, I definitely consider that. I, I think it's at least worth a mention when when discussing such things. All right, I've seen what 100 is and All I already right. want to blow my fucking brain so out. So, okay, I guess I'll scroll down and we'll just get into it. All right. This is uh, fucking also, laughable. We're not going to uh, have opinions on all 100 games, obviously. 
So anyone who's like, oh boy, oh, they're oh gonna yeah, be, they're yeah. gonna be rambling. We have we obviously haven't played all these fucking games. No, yeah, and we'll just quickly be like, uh, I haven't for played people it. who or, or like or throw a synopsis of an opinion if we have any passing uh-huh. experience with the game. We got hundred games. To we'll go through. also say we'll also probably have lots of hot takes. Oh yeah, I have a hot take right away. Um, so I guess we'll just try to keep it short light or whatever we can get heated i don't give a fuck i don't know it'll, it'll be more interesting we'll see what happens all right whatever i guess we'll just go i'll scroll down you really want to talk about number 100 fuck oh, oh boy <laughs> fucking <laughs> stupid as oh. shit at 100 we have pokemon go what do you think of this we still believe that every one of them stands up as an incredible an incredible gaming experience pokemon go Go. <laughs> okay, so you're a mobile you, game. Are you with me? What do you Because we, we think? have the hot take. We do. There's still fucking people who play it. Oh no, I I I wanted to get into it when it was like a thing, but you didn't. I did. My phone but, couldn't handle it. Oh okay. And have the data for it, dude. Okay, but I still I wouldn't I want to be into it still. I was ex- like for like a for like a while. I'd be like, oh, this is cool, and then people like got. So obsessed with that, I'm like, eh, okay, what's the point? I was excited for Pokemon Go when I heard it was coming. Me and Brandon both were. We thought it was like the coolest, dankest shit. And then it fucking dropped. It was fun for like two or three weeks. And then we noticed the entire fucking town was playing it. And then we noticed the entire fucking world was playing it. And the problem was they took out like the only thing we liked about it after the first two weeks, mm-hmm. which was the footsteps system, which probably almost no one fucking remembers. <laughs> Do you know what? In in this uh, little review thing, the first sentence is literally just what, what our thoughts on it. Pokemon Go in 2019 is a game I shouldn't care about. Oh, it says that? Yep. Well, that's true. <laughs> What, but even when it came out, like it got old so quick, because you couldn't like you all you could do is interact. You could run into Pokemon, throw a ball, and catch them or not catch them. That's it's Pokemon, but like without Pokemon, like well, it's with only the Pokemon, <laughs> essentially. I'm gonna grab my phone charger because I want to have the list up and it's at five percent. All right, fine. Hurry up. You can rant about Pokemon Go for a little <laughs> bit. Yeah, we won't talk about everything this much, but I just I, I had a lot to say about Pokemon Go. This game is Pokemon with just Pokemon. You uh, you can throw the ball at them. You either catch them or you don't, but you can't battle them. You can't uh, fucking. There. Hey, are there gym battles? I think there there were gyms, but. Uh, the battles were like fucking stupid. He's answering me. Yeah. Okay. So like people hosted the gyms. I don't know if they still do it that way. I know you could, uh, you could, uh, fight gyms but it was extremely dissatisfying at least like in in my small town it was okay you're back i, I don't even know if you fought in the gym that's the thing like, i don't, I don't think, think you ever did it was battles. just like oh you have someone stronger you can take it yeah like and it was always like really random so it's like oh if you're lucky like you can you can have like a lot of pokemon I mean, it involves like you having to travel and shit, but it's like, I don't know, man. That that was the only cool thing. Is it? That got, was the point. It, of it, it got me out, but like, it was a, it's a fucking boring game. It got so old so quick. So many microtransactions too. Okay, that's a lot for one game. I don't. I don't think I'll have that much to say about a lot of games on here. Um, so let's just go to 99 then, uh, which is Borderlands 2, which, uh, I haven't played. Oh, Borderlands. Why is it so low? I don't know. Borderlands is good. This one's for you to talk about. Um, I guess, um, fuck. Hold up. I played it for a bit, not very long. <laughs> I ended up kind of dropping it, but 
that was before like I really was like branching out to play other games. I I want to get back around to it. But it's a re- it's a really fun game and like sorry if I'm out of breath. I had to fucking plug my phone in. Um and the first outlet wasn't working. Um yeah, and the art style is really is pretty unique for what it is. So I'm surprised it's all the way down at 99. Because also the story is actually like investing. Like you got like a really um, likable, believe it or not, an antagonist. Huh. Like you know, like like you're not very often in um, games or movies. Do you actually have a likable antagonist? The only thing you I- do in the Borderlands series. Um. Yeah. The only thing I played from Borderlands was, uh. Tales from the Borderlands, the Telltale thing. Oh, the ew. <laughs> I oh, played oh, like ew. an episode and a half of it. Well, it is like a shooter, uh, like art JRPGs type yeah, of thing. I played an episode and a half of the Telltale one. and uh, uh. What does the game come out? Does it fucking say on the list? 2012. 2012. Yeah, so like, yeah, when 3 came out like a month and a half ago, it was, it was pretty crazy. I, even I was like, damn. A month and I wish I was more hyped for it because I haven't played the other one. I'm ones. pretty sure it came out over like over the summer. Yeah, this year went like weirdly fast. So I guess like September. Maybe. I thought it was, I thought it was, anyway, let's, I thought it was more recent. Let's but I go could to 98. We got to speed right. up a little. Divinity <laughs> Original Sin 2. Haven't, haven't played it. Don't know anything about it. <laughs> I think Next. I think Mo was into that game. I think he bought it on my PS4 and I was just not into it at all. I, that's the I, title I see, but I don't diddly dick about it. Next. Yeah, not my type. Uh, 97, Dishonored. I don't know it. Dishonored, heard it. Don't know it either. <laughs> guess we're going through it. Yeah, the, the, see, we're going to have a lot of this, and that's probably good because we're saying a lot about everything. Final Fantasy VII. That's really low. Surprisingly. Like, I don't know. what This is like a classic, isn't it? Yeah. This is like, no, like a cult. Like, people like stand by it. It's no, no, what? no. It's a classic. Like, it's not even just a cult classic. I think it's the highest selling game on the PS1. Oh, yeah. It's what made the PS1 have its fucking reputation. Yeah, pretty this, much. This up there with weird. like Metal Gear Solid One. Now, all that and said, Ape Escape. All that said, stop. <laughs> all that said, I never played it. Um, oh, me neither. <laughs> but I've never, but I never owned a PlayStation. I watched Anza play now. it last year for like maybe three or four hours overall. And from my understanding, that's like just scratching the surface of this thing. Well, so. yeah, I mean that's what most RPGs are like. But this is a turn-based RPG. Yeah, and so we got I like nowhere really in it. With those. We got like nowhere in it. Uh, seemed all right. And also, Final Fantasy is just one of those series where it's like, it's so there's so fucking much of it where yeah. you don't know what's going on, and it's really hard to understand. And that's what makes me not want to get into it at all. I'm still gonna same say thing, same thing with Kingdom Hearts. I don't want to do either of that because it's too complicated. Way too much to try and learn, and it's just overall uninteresting. Like it's complicated just for the sake of being complicated, as opposed to actually making well, the story that's interesting. Kingdom, that's and Kingdom that's, Hearts, yeah. And and that's a hot take. No, it's not. No, no, it's a hot take for me to say like it's complicated just for the sake of being complicated. I'm talking Kingdom about Kingdom Hearts, Final Fantasy as well. Oh, I don't know. Both of them. I, I think people actually like Final Fantasy story, but I don't know. I'm actually gonna say it's too low. It is too low for I think like it's what too, it is. I don't even know it enough to like really comment, but I know it's better than ninety six. Oh yeah, um, like, I, at least at the very least, like it has to have this reputation for a reason, right? Yeah, I don't know if it was in like the. I wouldn't be surprised to see it in the top thirty. To be honest, it's here at ninety eight, ninety six, um, whatever. But I can't say I know enough about it. I've got like three or four hours of experience with it, and I wasn't even the one playing. All right, number 95. Assassin's Creed. Black Flag. Uh, okay. Assass- all Assassin's Creed games are boring as shit. Next. Uh, I haven't played any <laughs> of them. I tried to play them, and I want to blow my brains out. I tried to play the first one, and I was bored. Brandon was pretty into them back when it's cool. the first few came out. Actually, the story, like, and like, like I was all like an ancestry line and everything, and like the the like the combat and shit. I guess it it looks it's a cool concept. 
The game's just boring as shit. <laughs> yeah, I only tried the first one for a little bit because I tried to get into the series, but I was like, no, it's not happening. My friends liked it at the time, especially Black Flag. So, I don't know. Can't say I have personal experience with it. All right, who, th- who thought this list was a good idea? That was, yeah, honestly, that was definitely yeah, this you. Is, this is above Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I meant for doing this on the podcast because oh. I looked at 94 and we've got another who the fuck knows what this game is. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, Monkey Island 2. LeChuck's Look, Revenge. Whatever the fuck this is. This, this is better than Final Fantasy 7, guys. I guess we should know what that is. Yeah, because it's better than Final Fantasy 7. You know, a household name. All right, 93. Big ass franchise. Burnout 3 Takedown. Again, better than Final Fantasy 7. <laughs> Is that where <laughs> everything from now on is better than Final Fantasy VII? Fallout 2. Wait, wait, wait. Where'd you see that? Next. Oh, you went, you went down too quickly. Okay, I'm sorry. Right. Um, uh, Burnout 3. Um, It's a racing game, looks like. Cool. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Fucking cool. Now, I don't know Burnout. Well, it may not be as old as Super Mario Kart. I don't... Or Road Rash. I don't know Burnout 3, but I think... Uh, Hang on, I have to check. This. Stop! My phone's being fucking stupid on me. Um, I have to check the soundtrack because I think there was a song I like on the soundtrack. I always see people commenting it on videos. There's a Pennywise song on here, and a Yellow Card Hi song. Yeah, Georgie. <laughs> yeah, not that one. Okay. Uh, never mind. Never mind. On to on to ninety two. Fallout two. All right. Fallout two. I actually want to to play like the older ones. They look very interesting. They they look they look old as shit. But I'm actually like not. That doesn't gross me out or anything. Because like I, it, it seems like it focuses way more on like the RPG aspect, which I'm fine with. I just I'm more or less I, I'm interested in checking them out. I own Fallout one and two both on Steam. The only series that like completely reinvented itself like that that I can think of that I like is Resident Evil. Like I can play the yeah. original, but then I fucking oh, well, it's think still something it's still similar, but I think like two and four and seven are great. I don't well. fall out one and two. They still have really good art and it gets the art can get pretty disturbing from what I know. Fallout? Yeah. Huh. I know nothing I don't oh not about nothing, the old but ones. Like, yeah. Yeah, I know pretty much very like nothing at all. I just knew like the, the first ones. the first two looked like fucking stick figures. And then yeah, like it's kind of text and 2D based. And then like the latest stuff. But it's it's kind of like it does. It will like it, when did it fucking come out? 1998. Yeah. So it's like era of like Final Fantasy 7. Ha- no, before that. Is no. It? no. No. Okay, well. It's after Oh, oh I'm, it's I'm talking actually about after I'm talking about in terms of what it looks like, but yeah, I mean because like early PC game kind of thing or it's like uh, kind of like um, uh, I have no mouth and I must scream. Go for it, dude. No, well, that's a disturbing ass fucking get horror game that I'm actually also interested in looking at. But it's also 2D oh, and text-based. Okay, this one's probably too low. Oh, also. Okay, yeah, it is. Why? Why the fuck is this down here? Honestly, I didn't consider it being on this list. But okay, we've got Undertale. Why so low? At 91. Probably because it's an indie game. I guess, or maybe because it's more recent or something. No, 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 no. This list is gonna put some recent ass games at the top. I bet. Oh, even though it was like, oh, we're not gonna, we're, n- we're not gonna do that stuff. We're not gonna care about the winning, whatever. The They're fuck. gonna speak too soon on some games. I'm, I'm fucking guaranteeing it. On our tail should not be in ninety. Ninety one. In the nineties, I mean. Uh it's cool that it's on the list. <sighs> it's too low. It is, yeah. I mean, we talked a lot about it until before. We did. Okay, so we'll just move on. 90, League of Legends, whatever. Uh, <laughs> trash. That's it's, <laughs> it's not my game, lol. League of Legends, trash. I I called it Fap Game back in the day, but... Fat Game? I don't, I don't know why. Don't ask me. <laughs> okay. But uh, that's why it's supposed to what I call it, you know. You remember Scoot, Scott? 2000, 2009 humor, all right? Yeah. Sco- yeah. Scoot from Lake Placid? Scoot the Woos? He, like, he, no. <laughs> Uh, Scoot fucking loved, loved, oh, maybe people, still loves this game. People who like, people who play League fucking love this game. Yeah, they do. I don't get it. It's, I don't know, it, it, it's... I've only been on the outside looking in. Well, which one's better? Like, I know one of them is, like, obviously better. It's either this or Dota. 
Two idiots shit on a bunch of games they've never played. I mean, I didn't want to get into it be- just because, like, <laughs> it, like it's a MOBA game. Yeah. This in Dota 2, I look at it and I'm like, there's too much happening on the screen. I have no idea what the fuck is going on. And, like, I can't just get into it. Like, I, I never bothered trying. David so. hated this game and said it was a ripoff of Dota all the time. <laughs> well, they're, like, the same fucking thing. So, yeah. That's the other thing. It's just, there's I don't, like, what do you even do? Like what's what? What's the? Is there skill in? The, I don't know what the fuck this is. Like yeah, I, I just see, see that's yeah. the problem though. I just don't the, the, know these, anything. Yeah. These aren't criticisms. That's the problem. You know what? This okay. We're not taking this as, as criticisms. Let's just call this. Let's call this podcast the everyday, the everyday bands stroll through the top one hundred games or something. Yeah, I guess. TM. That's why I or, just or the everyday game. I'm just gonna name it. Two idiots shit on games they've never played. Or that. Yeah. Uh, okay, we've got number eighty nine, Mega, Mega Man. Man. 3. Why? Why three specifically? I don't know. I, I know Mega Man's are great, but it's I, fucking hard. I can't comment on Mega Man's. Um, I like them. They released like um a collection of them on Steam. I would not, play but I could just emulate them, and I have. But I would not play a Mega Man. Why? Just from seeing how they play. Why? Not into that style. The side-scrolling shooter platformer boy. Yeah. I mean, I try to play it, and it's hard. It's pretty fucking hard. Oh, it's the th- I think that's not a criticism, though. It's just not my style. Okay, I'm looking at the characters on it, and like I see the B and that nut boy, and I'm like, and uh, the doggo. I don't know the fucking names of any of this shit. Um, and I think I know which game. I think this is the game I actually try to play. So I guess that's why three is here. It probably belongs on the list, but like I don't know. Isn't Mega Man? I think Man- it does, but I think it's a bit too high. Isn't Mega Man three like not? You mean it should be like? Towards a hundred, yeah, like closer it's, it's to maybe, it, I mean, it's, it is an eighty-nine, but um, it's just a bug above Undertale. And I don't like that. <laughs> I didn't think Mega Man Three was like the Mega Man. You know, I thought that was like, I don't know which one it was. I guess Mega Man X. All right, probably. I don't know, but I, I, I just like, I just like the SNES graphics better than the NES. Okay. I I don't know why, but like I see I see those sixteen bit. I'm just like <clears throat> eight bit. I'm just like. <clears throat> But it is a good game. Um, I don't know. I'll probably get more into the Mega Man series. Like, event, probably, I don't know. Probably I'm never. interested in probably, but I'll probably get around to it when I get around to Borderlands, which is, like, probably never, so. 88, Soul Calibur. Never played this one. I played a Soul Calibur. This is that's, the... That's, it's a, yeah, the number one. Like, it looks like PS1. Um, I think I played one when it was, like, like a game Gear version? I don't remember. It's like one of those like names where it's like it rings a bell. It's like, oh yeah, that exists. Yeah, the name uh It's, it's very yeah. strange. But like, I don't know, I see like videos kind of I saw some videos like explaining like what it is and like it, it, I can get into it. It looks like uh it, it's a kind of an anime. Just from this screenshot, it looks like Mortal Kombat. It it is it does not Mortal Kombat, I can tell you that. But it is, it's a fighting uh, game like it, except it's more 3D. Mortal Kombat pretty much stays like on the same plane. All right. You know, it's 3D. But anywho, uh, there is a story with Soul Calibur, and I can kind of get behind it. It's pretty, it's kind of an anime oh. plot story, though. All right. So probably not Not, for not you. my thing either. 87, Thief 2, The Metal Age. Don't Never heard it. of this. Never heard of it either. Okay. Next. <laughs> 86. Sim City. Do you know this one? I thought you do. Sim City 2000? Yeah. I think I it's like where... Uh, but I do know... I, I, I know. It's like the game. Sims origins, as far as I know. Yeah, it's like... It's basically like probably the one of the first city tycoons. Yeah. So, I mean, it's cool to see this here. The earliest Sims game I like is The Sims. Sims the Sims, yeah. yeah. This is like before... This is like the prequel... So it's very strange that it's this high on the list. Again, this is above Final Fantasy VII and Undertale. Like what? Yeah. <laughs> and Borderlands too. Like I, I don't know. I, don't, I thought I think those games are higher and more household names than Thief Two or um not Mega Man. Yeah. More than League. Well, they told you what they considered. Yeah, but... <laughs> but okay, then you, it, you, it was you look... A, it was a joke. You look at Monkey Island 2, LeChuck's Revenge, and think, ah, yes, quality gaming experience. 
But we Over Final we Fantasy we VII. I don't know. We haven't played it. Okay, well, <laughs> I mean, well, never fucking heard it ever. No, we haven't. But who? But who? But that's f- where we should leave it. But everyone's grandmother and three times younger generation grandchildren have heard of Final Fantasy VII. Yeah. All right, let's go 85. Inside. The remix coming okay. Out. okay, inside. All um, right. Sure. Surprised this is on the list, honestly. It can be there. It can be on the list. Uh, I would never put this on a, a list. <laughs> 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 I mean, I mean, you did already. Did I? Ga- oh, you're right. The well, game should uh, did series. did the tier right? list. Um, yeah. Not it's a game. It kind of plays. I like it, Limbo better. It, it Honestly, inside kind of just plays itself. Honestly, yeah, you, you go right. Sometimes you go left. It's just kind of there. People like it's cool. I mean, I I like the symbolism and all that, and the ending is like pretty what the fuck. But it's just kind of lackluster. People really, really have like hard ons for this game. Yeah, strangely, and games like this. Um, and I think they're all right. Uh, Inside and Limbo are both all right, but and I like Limbo better. Mostly, that's just pretty much what I think too. I think Limbo is just a bit better because just because of the art style, the art, yeah, it's the style. And I think it did more with the music. Inside is pretty much silent the whole time. Yeah, I mean there was a good experience with it on the channel, I'd say. But uh, which freaked me out more, Inside still probably because that big ass spider. Right you mean Limbo? 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 Why the fuck is it Inside? Yeah. I mean, that girl swimming at you on inside is a bit weird. Yeah. And the ending. The, yeah. ending, is li- the ending is really Akira-like. I would put Limbo on, like, in this thing's place if I was going to put one of them on a list. I'll say that. I don't know, because if I was trying to make a list of 100 games, can I even think of 100 games? Maybe this would fucking be on the list. Yeah, I can't really think of 100 either, so I guess I would just I like, don't know. Uh, fuck it. At thirty, it's inside. Have I played a hundred games? <laughs> I'd run out pretty quick. Okay. Uh, eighty-four. Contra. Contra. Go for it. Oh Sounds boy. Sounds like you know this one. I oh, don't. oh boy, do I fucking know this one? Man, this game separated the the men from the boys. Actually, because this game is fucking brutal. Okay. This, this is bullet hell before bullet hell, and like you only have it's like really arcade like and um. If you ran out of lives, the game would. Sh- th- th- this is like, this is where it would be the cruelest uh, of like the trends of every game. Most NES games, when they would just kick you all the way back to the start when you get a game over. Yeah, that was like that, that's a hard kick to the balls. Like, even to this day, <laughs> it's still hard. And when you run out of lives, it's just like bye, no checkpoint. What did you play this on? What do you think? The computer? I emulated it, yeah. What made you... It's also like, it's also in the SNES Classic. What made you want to check this one out? How'd you even hear of it? Like, <laughs> I don't know if I've heard yeah, of it. Good this. question. All right. Good, good question. Well, you like JPEG. it. You like I it. I mean, there's cool. a few um, NES stuff that, like, I just downloaded at the same time at, like, high school and just played a few. So, like, there's going to be... Some big NES. Well, this is a SNES, so I had a SNES emulator as well. But it's on the SNES um, Classic. It's just one of those. Yeah, it's a classic. Okay. Like it's just one of. It's like one of the higher um, SNES games. I could see that. And it's really hard. It's like it's pretty much part of its time. Like you see, like it looks what well, looks like Rambo and Arnold Schwarzenegger because it's kind of like that action movie. You literally just shoot shit. It's a lot like Metal Gear. Metal Gear, uh, no, uh, Metal Slug, I mean. Metal Slug. I don't know that one either. You ever had a Neo Geo? What? My guy. No. Neo Geo is the shit. I don't know what that is. I love Metal Slug. If you, anybody knows it, then yeah. I mean, you, you probably know this if you know Metal Slug. All right, 83. All right, it got hey! going. Oh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. It's my boy. I like the Tony Hawk Good shit. a lot. A little too low. Maybe. Uh, it depends if they put any other Tony Hawk on this list. Yeah, wasn't two one of the better ones, or was it one? I think two, one was two really was good really one. good. Uh, one was really good. I mean, uh, three was the one that I didn't play as much. 
Um, I think four was great, and Underground and Underground two were amazing. Agreed. I love Underground. I think the series American Wasteland though I can fuck with. I can fuck with American Wasteland. See, I I don't play that one. That that's where I lost interest. But my favorite Strange. my favorite run in the series was uh four underground and underground two but i really love the uh the first like one Pro as well Skater four actually i love that one. how that one's just like where the blueprint for underground came from it just felt weird it actually just felt not as tight and good as underground weird i to me at least i didn't I have don't any know. trouble with anyone um so if they're gonna put other Tony Hawks higher, then I have no problem with this. Yeah, I guess. If I this am. is the only one on the list and it's this low, like I would have chosen a different one. And uh, I think it's too low if that's the case. <laughs> His face in this picture looks really photoshopped on, doesn't it? Yeah, <laughs> it looks like a sticker. All right, I guess we'll see as we go. But I li- I like this game. I like the soundtrack. I like uh, I like everything about it. Yeah, I'm cool with it being on this list. 82, Monster Hunter World. I don't know this one. I'm actually kind of like starting to look at this a little more and thinking about picking it up. Came out in 2018. See? See, there's the there new, new mm-hmm. games. Mm-hmm. It's better than Undertale. Mm-hmm. This one's kind of like, well, this one looks like um, you just go around and kill giant-ass beasts. Uh-huh. And like you have, it's kind of like an RPG and you have to like collect weapons and all that and s- actually study the monsters and find their weakness and everything and actually like plan your attack at them so you don't die. It's actually kind of like hard, I guess. Okay. Unless you're just an idiot, like I'll probably play it and just fucking run at them with the biggest stick I can find. That's what I'd do. <laughs> yeah, but on, it looks cool. It looks like um, you know, you know, like those Monster of the Week shows. Yeah. It kind of looks like that, but like a a collection of monsters, and you just get to fight them and shit, including like dinosaurs. All right. So it looks it looks pretty fun, and you get like these fucking just big ass like really stupid weapons, and that's like or throughout the whole franchise. So I mean, I'm thinking about it. All right, it's caught my eye. That's all I gotta say about it. Um, we're gonna have to uh, what's we're gonna have to uh cancel your theory about the new games being low because check out what this next game is. <laughs> <laughs> what, why am I laughing like a fucking okay Resident Evil 2 remake yeah the 2019 Ari remake so clearly they're not shying away from putting brand new games on this list above Final Fantasy 7 I don't on, know and uh, Undertale and everything well I, I would the, put it there see, th- see that's what I'm thinking about too like is this probably the best game to come out this year? That and, I think it is. That and Sekiro, but I haven't played Sekiro. I haven't played Sekiro. <laughs> but I look at it and I'm like, those are... Uh, and as a remake, it's really fucking up there. Like, it's great. First time it's like, through... It's like a new standard It's for amazing. Remakes. And like, I even replaying it after taking a week break. It's I'm a like, reimagining. It's still, it's still not old playing it again, so... No. It's a reimagining, though. Um... To be fair, like it's totally a reimagining more than a remake, but I love it. Uh, I think it's the best game of the year. I think it's game of the year. Spoilers for any other lists we might do at the end of the year. Yes, that's all. Sorry, but whatever. But it's just uh, we'll yeah. talk about it more there. Though. Yeah, it's just amazing. It's just really solid. Uh, honestly. yeah. Uh, it it's probably where it deserves to be. Honestly, yeah. But above Final Fantasy Seven, I don't I'm know. Not sure, I'd put it there. I, for I'm sure. not. I'm not done. Like actually going through my full thoughts, my full like analytical like thoughts because I haven't finished completing it yet. Okay, well, I would put it above Final Fantasy Seven, but I don't think the majority of the world. Yeah, but would. I'm, I'm talking. Yeah, I'm talking about like you know in terms of objectivity. Yeah. Okay. But or like I don't know because. If we're talking about raw gaming experience, I would go with this or Final Fantasy VII, but what do I prefer more? Not turn-based RPGs with a really complex story. Okay. So. So 80. Uh, survival Horror. My, System, my thing. System Shock 2. I don't know this one. Don't know. I think I heard the name before. Next. I think I have heard it as well. Okay. 79. Auto. 79. Vice City. Yeah. I fuck with it. I respect it being on this list. Yeah, actually. Um, 
the art style is super um dated. <laughs> it's oh. a dated ass game. Well, it's a da- oh yeah, it's supposed to be like from the eighties, but I meant like it's a really defined. No, 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 not in color that, palette. Like, not in that way. Yeah, the color palette's good. That's what I meant. But like, once once uh, I played, I was scrolling down. I see this boy. I forget his name. I'm terrible. But I was like Archer. As far as <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought too. Um, whenever you play a uh, newer Grand Theft Auto, it really ruins the Grand Theft Auto before it. That's my experience anyway. Uh, when when I Vice City was my first Grand Theft Auto game, and it was like my favorite for so long. Then I played San Andreas, and I was like, okay, it's better. Then I played four. I think and San Andreas is the best one. Then I played four, and I was like, it's better. And then I played five, and I was like, it's better. Like I can never, uh, I can personally never go back to a Grand Theft Auto take, game. I don't think GTA Five is all that good. I think they're all the same. They're, they're kind so of all I guess the that same. They're both hot like takes. GTA Five. I get bored pretty quick. I don't like. I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do. I think that's just Grand Theft Auto. I mean, the I think the part that like I was that that the thing that I was trying to do the most was just like raise hell. No, no, like that's that, that gets boring. Yeah, it does. But Five that, stars, easy, and I'll get away. Whatever. But, but that's why I played them. Like, and also I'm just stupid. I don't know how to fucking get money other than just rob banks and shit. Yeah. And I'm like that. That not to grind otherwise, or just like steal cars and sell them. But like, honestly, what I just kept trying to do was get into the Air Force in GTA Five, and then just steal a fucking plane and then see how far I can get. <laughs> Sometimes it'd be pretty fucking far. I got away a couple of times, but well, I'm getting off track. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have more Grand Theft Auto on this list, so we'll get back. to Yeah, it. but Vice City, Vice City, I respect being here. It was my first Grand Theft Auto game. I think it like. I don't know. I would say, I guess no. <laughs> I I just thought through that whole thing. I was like, it like kind of made paved the way for the rest of the series, but that was three. Yeah, was Grand Theft Auto three did that. Vice I just, City is kind of its own thing. But I couldn't go back to three after I played Vice City, and I started with Vice City, so I never really played three at all. Because when I tried it, I was like, ah, Vice City's better. Well, I, I ask more seasoned GTA vets. Yeah, honestly. but that those just like are very. Um, surface level thoughts. I guess I've got no problems with it being here. Uh, Persona Five at seventy eight. <laughs> Fuck, Ugh, Jesus! You, I want to play it. You I haven't, haven't. Yeah, you haven't played it yet. Well, because I know it's a commitment to do it. I'm not interested in the slightest. It looks really fucking cool. I mean, well, it's anime as fuck. <laughs> yeah, that's why. But otherwise, I'm like, I might play it and then I'll just start dancing. So yeah, I want to get into it. Uh-huh. I have it. It's on my list. I guess call it a list. Call it what you will. Next. All right. Yep. No Fucking god damn it. This is embarrassing. <laughs> this is embarrassing. But thank God it's not higher. At 77, we have... Cancer. <laughs> okay. We've got Fortnite, everyone. Oh, I can't think of a better joke. Fortnite. Neither of us have played it as far as I, I have. know. Okay. I haven't played it. I didn't like it. See, like... I don't like Battle Royale games. See, like... So. Oh, I do. But, like, this is trash. Okay. I, I I tried to play it and like you know some games okay so you don't know but like okay I'm talking to you the viewer you know in some games like example PUBG where like the bullets just do some weird funky shit and you don't know like if you ever hit something also like I guess anyone who plays CSGO for like the first time and doesn't know how to shoot it's like this game I didn't I didn't feel like my bullets were fucking going anywhere at all and, like, I just looked at it, I'm like, wow, that's a fucking PUBG ripoff. Straight up. <laughs> okay, so you didn't just, like, feel the need to hate it. No, I, I didn't get, I couldn't get into it, and I was like, I don't get the appeal with it. It's just, it, it wasn't, it wasn't fun, basically. It wasn't as fun as it, everyone was, like, having with it. Everyone got, like, obsessed with it. So, like, I mean, I can see why, if I was a kid in the, if I was growing up and this was like in front of me, I'd probably like be super into it. Yeah, it's like a product of its time. But it's like Minecraft. Not of its time, but like <laughs> no, I'm just I won't say joke. that. But cause, oh, whatever, I guess maybe. But I mean, at that during when I when I was a kid, was, it was Minecraft, and now it's Fortnite. So it's like, you know, if if I was still a kid, who knows? It might be this game. But for now, I'm looking at. It, I'm like, I I know. I can't get into it. It's not as fun. All right. I was kind of making a joke anyway, but 76 
Fable two. Don't I haven't played it. I don't know what it is. Don't know. Um, I know the. F- I know Fable. Where it's from? Yeah, Fable the comic. Like, va- yeah, like vaguely. I know there's a game of it, but I didn't know there's a second one. Yeah, so. Fable's where uh, the Wolf Among Us is based, right? Yeah. Oh, well, like the f- yeah, not not Fable itself, but like Fables. Fables, yeah. Okay. Uh, seventy-five. Goldeneye 007. Oh, okay. The N64 game. I I watched uh, a bunch of people debate about this game a lot when we watched it's Madness. A, it, it's a classic. It like revolutionized like first person shooters, I guess, and split screens, but it's terrible. One of my least favorite genres, so it's like it's it's like the first Beatles album. Okay, okay. We're like it, it revolutionized shit and like paved the way for everything. It was important at the time. It's important <laughs> and it's still important when you look at it, but like and you can still revisit it and have like a good time. But <laughs> it's yeah, it's it's weak. Cool. That's all I gotta say about it. It's weak, and as Donkey said, it's really trash as is. Meanwhile, on PC, and like just redone and remastered, like butter. All right. So seventy four Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Ultimate specifically. Okay, is Smash another one that's like? No, it's not. I was gonna say, is it like Grand Theft Auto? I no. think for me it is. I think for me it became like every new entry was like the Smash game. Well, yeah, that's the one that you're going to go and play, but I think if you if we go and visit... There's, it's like Grand Theft Auto. It's got like rabid fan, rabid loyal fan bases for early games. Like in Grand Theft Auto, there's people who are still obsessed with fucking GTA 3 and definitely yeah. people still obsessed with San Andreas. For Super Smash Bros., it's melee. Everyone, there's oh, melee has a yeah. rabid fan base. It, yeah, for sure. Like I can still boot up melee, and like I hear, I hear the fucking sounds of like just the menu and the music, and I'm like, oh, nostalgia. Mm-hmm. Just down that runs down my dick. Just ugh. But meanwhile, like I don't know. Like I'm, I'm gonna look at the menu and be like, wow, those like fuck all characters. But I don't care. When it was I don't, melee, I don't main any of the new characters on on uh, in uh, Ultimate. The only one that like when before Smash Bros. Four came out, and it was like Brawl was the newest one for a while. I did still prefer Melee. I was that guy. And I like Brawl, but I still I I play either one. I thought either one were pretty comparable. I played Brawl it's probably just, more than any of the others, but like I preferred Melee. I think I played them both equally. I think <laughs> maybe melee more, but melee is just definitely what I grew up with. I preferred melee, and then when four came out, it, they like both of them were just like later. Like I went back to melee after four, and it felt weird for me. Um, yeah, so like know. it's weird. Um, yeah, four was the one before, and ultimate, then four right? and ultimate play really similar to me. I feel like they are really similar. That's why when like so the, I'm fine with the the announced, ultimate is like the new definitive one for me. Yeah, I well, guess. That's, when, that's why when they announced ultimate, I was like, wait, another? Like, didn't they just come out with one like two years ago or yeah. something? So, uh, it it's weird. Four is like probably the weakest Smash out there, but I it was like maybe weaker than the N64 version. But it was like the one. When it came out, like I was like, "Yeah, this is the one for me now." Yeah, I guess. Uh, who knows? Maybe every t- every one that came out was just like, "Oh, the one before it was a weaker one," but at the time, it was like the one. I think everyone's got to hate Boner for uh, Brawl, and I can agree with that. Out of the ones I've played, Brawl's my least favorite as far as just like how it plays and everything. So I don't know. I don't know. Not important, you, I guess. You know, well, I guess we're talking about all the other ones instead of Ultimate. I mean, yeah, Ultimate, it's, got, it's got everything, sure. Ultimate for, like, should I probably guess. be higher, uh, honestly. It, if they're going to, unless they're going to put another Smash on here, I guess. It's got everything to the point where it's just like. Just like, yeah, who, every who, everyone's here. Who, who's going to fucking, who, who's going to main Pac-Man? Yeah. Or fucking the Villager. I don't know, unless they're going to. And if you're an Isabel main, kill yourself. Unless they're I gonna, hate you. <laughs> unless they're gonna put another, uh, another smash higher on the list, then I think it should be higher. But other than that, like it's fine. It's cool. Yeah, I guess. Seventy three. Okay. The oh, oh that, I was not expecting seeing it this low. 
<laughs> Elder Scrolls Five. Well, aren't there a bunch Skyrim? Of, aren't there a bunch of reimaginings of this? Uh, what? Like no. Is there only one Skyrim? Yep. Okay. Anything else you see that's like a remaster is no, no, no. It's just there's a bunch of Elder Scrolls. Like for example, this is five. <laughs> yeah, this is the newest one. Okay. They're com- They announced six last week, which is like hype as fuck. But yeah, no, this is like the one, pretty much that like has gained like fucking infamy for like being probably one of the top games of all time, and it's all the way down here. Okay, well, I don't so, have that much experience with it. Really interesting, yeah. What I have experience of it is in VR, um, and, and I, I had some fun with that. Oh, yeah, watching you play was hilarious. I just played it like Grand Theft Auto. Because you, yeah, yeah, <laughs> you fucking you can went around play. and raised hell. Because you, cause you can play it like that. It's great. Or you can play however the fuck you want. Yeah. I don't know. Like, So you think it's too low? I think it's way too low. So, like, I'm like, I'm surprised. I'm like, it's it's gonna be on this list, but like, sh- uh, wow, All it's right. low. Sure. Then I guess that's sure. the thoughts. Sure, GGIGN. That's the thoughts then. Uh, For now, seventy-two XCOM UFO defense. I don't know. It. Don't know it. But I guess it's above Skyrim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Everything now is against or is above Skyrim, Final Fantasy VII, Undertale, and uh, Borderlands too, and all that good shit, and Fortnite. And, and Fortnite. Go. Well, that's a good. You thing. know, at least we can go through this and say everything is above Pokemon Go. You're right. You're right. Okay, so, I can get on board with that. Right. Seventy-one. S- you want to say it? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what the fuck. Sikoden two. Sikoden two. Um, I don't know this, I, but I guess it's above Skyrim. Um, it's akin to Chrono Trigger. Yeah, so I was about to say. I guess it's a Chrono Trigger type game. That's cool. I don't know put, that either. Why don't they just put Chrono Trigger on here? They probably, that I could accept. I they could probably did. That. It's probably on here. It's probably on here, yeah. Okay, 70. Battlefield 1942. Okay. Okay, I guess that's above Skyrim. <laughs> I don't know it. I, I played it. Oh, okay. I, I played it in um computer class along with Halo, which, uh, that yeah, it's definitely better than this. It has, uh, Halo has to be on this fucking list. But, oh, yeah. Um, 1942, I think... No, no, I played Battlefield 2 mostly, but I know 1942 is pretty good. Like, it's it's cool to immerse yourself around that era, honestly. I, I always liked um, just World War II and Nazi, Nazi Germany in terms of, like, history. It's a very... I mean, it's also, like, one of the t- times in history where, like, the most amount of books have been written about. Yeah. So it's just... A really interesting, like I didn't know this was history, the the first entry in the Battlefield series. Oh yeah, that's why I like Battlefield because I thought it was more like akin to like we're doing things like more historically and all mm-hmm. that shit. And Call of Duty is just like, oh fuck that! Here's some robots <laughs> or whatever. Yeah, in more recent years, and and now it's like they're all kind of blending together. Oh, yeah. they're still kind of doing it, but like Battlefield and Medal of Honor are. are both pretty similar in that they do the whole Nazi Germany thing, like historic uh, wars and all that. All right. All right, but we finally break 70. And the the uh, nicest game on this list at 60, 69. 69? Oh, it better be House Party. It's Dota 2. God fucking damn it. <laughs> I guess they shit about Dota. It's, I, it's, I guess it's the highest played game on Steam uh, at all times. Really? And like... Yeah, it is. It's uh, you know I'm gonna check right the fuck now. Hold on, I'm gonna pull up Steam. On now that app. surprises me. It surprises everyone. Cause who the fuck do you know that plays Dota two or even talks about it? I just know David liked Dota better. Uh, you know, like I said, better than uh, the other one, <laughs> the other fella, the other fella, La League. Yeah, League but he Legends. he liked Dota one. He was making that argument before Dota two dropped in 2013. Whatever, it's not loading because fucking I don't know. Steam is being stupid. All right, well, go, I, I trust go check, you. Go go check your Steam. Like it, it, check it at any time. I it's trust at number you. one. It's got millions of people playing at the same time all at all times. Let's go to six. It's crazy and it makes Steam a stupid amount of money. All right, at sixty eight, everyone. Mario Kart Eight Deluxe. Mario Kart Eight this- again. <laughs> 
Like, I guess they're putting the new. Oh fuck! I guess they're putting the new Nintendo shit here. Like, wow! Sh- I shouldn't be surprised. <laughs> hey, this is probably my favorite Mario Kart I played. Is it okay? Yeah. Then I haven't shut played. Up. No, I haven't played a lot of them. No, no, you can disagree with me. It's just uh, uh, I tried Mario <laughs> Kart sixty four. Yeah, I, I don't think I you guess, can go back to that after you know like what? you've started with eight. <laughs> no, since no, well, since you opened up with like talking about. Um, movies and shit that you've been watching. I'll just go and say I've been watching a bunch of Donkey, and pretty much what he was like getting at in his video was what I was was my experience in the game. Mario Kart Eight. Yeah, it's like oh, bo- oh, thanks for the red shell. I'm so glad you can have two of them now. Yeah, like when we play, we play this with Adri. Every time we played Mario Kart Eight, I just kept getting fucked. Just by everything. I had it's the like, most fun I, I with can't, it. I can't play this game. I think I only was like winning when I wasn't trying or I was drunk. Okay. That's pretty much from my experience with it. Now, on the other hand, my favorite Mario Kart, easily Double Dash. Okay, I haven't played that one and I've heard that's the best one. So the f- You fucking played that one? No. I'm changing my recommendation. <laughs> Anyway, easily like that. Oh my god, uh, that's easily the best one for me. The like, only that's one, the most fun I've had playing Mario Kart. The only like, ones I've played are Mario Kart sixty four and like for five seconds that one on the Super Nintendo. Yeah, the one on Super Nintendo was pretty whack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a good response. <laughs> um, but Mario Kart sixty four is supposed to be like the one I that everyone loves. I you played sixty four. I don't know, maybe for like two seconds. Put the one on the Wii. I tried to. I didn't. And just motion controls, like just that. I pretty much kind of sucks. Started with Mario Kart Eight on the Wii U, and then they just re-released it on the Switch in twenty seventeen. I guess. It, it's the it's my favorite one I've played. So that's that. That's what I have to say about it. I'm fine with it being here. I don't want it to be too high either. So whatever. Yeah. 67. I mean, it, 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 Mario Kart 8 Deluxe does look really pretty, though. I, will I love say. how it looks. Okay. Like, Rainbow Row looks gorgeous, but still, like, double dash. That's 67. It. Double clap. Star Wars Jedi Knight 2 Jedi Outcast from 2002. I don't know it. All the Jedi games are broken as fuck. Okay. Don't at me, I think. I don't fucking know. I don't know about this one, no. Okay, but I, that's just my experience from what I know about the Star Wars games. Otherwise, like if there was a really like quality made Star Wars game, I would like pro- love to get into it and probably like be one of my new favorite games. Well, there there might be, but I guess this one's one to try out. So who the fuck knows? The, the new one. The new one looks really clunky and not good. You're you're definitely in the minority there. I'd suggest you try it. If if you're interested in a Star Wars game, I guess I'll try it. But I mean, I haven't, and I don't plan to. I'm not into a Star Wars game. It's well, like, not what I'm looking well, for. What I'm afraid is like I'll let because like I I feel, uh, looking at the new one at least I have to like I feel like I have to suspend my disbelief a bit, and if I do, then I'll just like purposely look away at like what is wrong with the game. Yeah. Which well, looks like it's to be the AI, the combat system, cameras, movement, the fucking works. You're, uh, you're also like the Star Wars Extended Universe is just fucking whack. I'm sorry. Your boy Nakey Jakey fucking loves it. Yeah, I mean he he hasn't really stirred me wrong, but yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. All right. <laughs> <laughs> See, I was thinking it, but I was sipping water, so he didn't say it at the same time. Uh. This one, this game, I guess this is a Star Wars game. Again, I, it's, I could probably take a guess of what it looks like, how it plays and all that. Oh, I did try playing one of the Battlefront games. Wasn't a fan of it. Just the, um, oh, um okay. let's, let's plop you in this that big would be... motherfucking um, shooter and you just die all the time and you guess you, you get a kill or two. I and played the game's over. I Ooh. played the, uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2 for PS2 um, with Anza last year for like an hour, and it was all right. <laughs> uh, that's that's my experience with Star Wars games. There you go, everyone. I thought it was all right. <laughs> I played Battlefront 2 then. Uh, like the new one? 
or the one from like the PS2? Not the PS2, yeah, the new one. Okay. Before I knew it, uh, before I knew I was supposed to hate it. Why the fuck? So did, I gave it a chance. Why the fuck did they name two games Battlefront Two? Yeah. <laughs> maybe it's just like that makes sense to a Star Wars fan, but yeah. to me, that's like what. <laughs> You like spec. You like specify them. You specified the game's name, then you named it twice. You, you named two games the same damn thing. Stupid. All right, sixty-six. Sp- Spelunky? Spelunky. Okay, I don't know. Uh, it's pretty indie, I think. Um, no, I, I, didn't, I wasn't expecting this to be on this. I wasn't expecting this to be above Skyrim. I heard of it. That's about it. I can, I can get into it. I like indie stuff. I'm sure it's fine if you like that style. All right, that's what we're saying. Uh, 65, the original Donkey Kong. Better than Skyrim! Why? You play this game for 10 seconds and it's done. You get the point. You jump over barrels. You jump over barrels. This is a game. You jump over barrels. Remember when they said they weren't taking... Like how big of an impact it had into consideration. You know, you know what? You, you remember <laughs> when they said they were taking raw gameplay experience, yeah, as a judgment factor. Donkey Kong, original Donkey Kong for the NES and the fucking arcade cabinet. It's a higher gaming experience than you'll ever have playing Skyrim. And that's I a, guess. That's a... <laughs> you know what? You know, you know. I'm gonna do. You know, I I realize how I'm gonna. Cause like, you, you, I, I know my pre- presentation now for my YouTube channel that I'm gonna make. You just gonna copy Donkey's voice? No, I won't. Okay, I'm, I'm only copying because I've been watching him too much. Okay, I'm very impressionable. Okay, but like you know how he's super sarcastic. Yeah, and like Nakey, Nakey, Jakey things. So he just goes on fucking rants and he's on that fucking ball. Yeah, me, I'm just gonna be super passive, passive aggressive. Just be like, okay, I guess. I guess this game's higher than Skyrim. I, I don't think this... I don't know. I guess they had to put it on here somewhere, but I, I disagree. I I fundamentally disagree. Let's, let's go on to 64. The Sims. The this, Sims! This, this is the PS... No, this is the PC version. Aw. Um... I was about to say, like, this don't look like it. But it says The Sims released in 2000. So let's just it pretend is, like it's no, the it, PS1. It is the same one. No, it's PS2. But uh, it PS2. is. It's just like cross platform. It was weird, but I think they were all released like at the same time. They were just different. Uh, so if if we're counting this as like Sims PS2, then I totally agree. Oh yeah, and I'm fine with its placement because like. For what it, it's just like one of those games that's just <laughs> great for what it is. Yeah, you know, I, I wanted to say like it's too high, but it's sixties, and it's like I did have a really great gaming experience playing <laughs> The Sims. <laughs> it's just so wow. It's just great what for what it is. Exactly, it's like, like you it, could s- easily sink a bunch of hours into this, and it, it you would be like, oh, I had a nice time. Yeah, exactly. And the best part is, is that that's that's multiplayer. Uh huh. That's a shared experience. Not much can you play a game someone and it's just a relaxing just like whatever like i could just yeah it's spend just my a, day doing it's this just experience. a good time me and austin s- sunk many days into a couch just playing sims all day oh uh, that's, and, the, that's and, the life and all night like that was our childhood on the weekends all right i'm cool with that completely all around 63 Thumbs rock up. band rock what? band all right all right, here we go. Now we're done. Why, why Rock yes. Band One? <laughs> but seriously, why Rock Band One? Yeah, actually, this is probably the least deserving. Uh, cause like, yeah, it paved the way for you know Rock Band Two, Rock Band Three, Green Day Rock Band, Beatles Rock Band, all the better rock bands with you know lots of lots more songs and better songs too. Yeah, and just better. Pretty much everything. They just added more features. Like, there's no reason for Rock Band One to be the one on this list because I feel like this will be the only one on the list. Honestly, um, but I totally respect Rock Band being on this list. 
For sure. So and not Guitar Hero. Well, maybe, maybe if probably it's a, Guitar Hero. If it's a, if Guitar Hero is above Rock Band, I might I might shit a little. But Rock <laughs> Band is the better one. I think Guitar Hero will be on here and it'll be above Rock Band. I mean, Guitar Hero is probably more like a household name. Guitar Hero was more uh, revolutionary because it existed first. It definitely is the reason we got Rock Band. Um, and it uh, is yeah. And Guitar Hero. Three probably is when it got really good. Um, though two was my introduction to it. In one, they barely had any songs that were like actually like they didn't have like the studio record versions of songs. They had a bunch of like random dudes who did covers, and you played those versions. Yeah, and you can like tell. Yeah, you can def- you can definitely tell. Um, so it was cool when they started actually licensing songs for it. Um, so I guess we'll see if Guitar Hero is on here. Guitar Hero was better for playing the guitar, yeah, because they chose they chose better like, all around. Yeah, in Guitar Hero they like chose better. they chose songs which like would be fun on guitar, no matter if you cared for the music itself or not. It was always a good time and a challenge. It really was like the the harder. The songs got and everything. Yeah. And your difficulty. But Rock Man is just kind of like, all these songs are funner. And also like, yeah, all the whole fucking, just buy more. Buy buy a whole bunch of songs. Yeah, and then have them get deleted six years later. Let's go to the next one. Let's go to the next one. <laughs> Look into it. Uh, Red, Red Dead, Dead 2. At 62. Why the, okay, okay, IGN, sure. We're not going to put recent games on here. Red Dead 2 is trash. Lots of people agree on that. What? Okay, well, not trash, but like not I've very. N- I've had the opposite. N- not very good. Well, watch watch Nicky Jakey's video. On yeah, it. I know, but that's the only guy who's like not liked it that I've seen. I hear the same criticisms all around. No, I mean I'm sure there's a lot of people who don't like it, but then again, fucking pop on Sardonicast. It's it's a uh, it's I hate everything's like favorite game or one of them, and. uh I know I've heard a lot of praise for this game. I haven't played the first one. Not have think, I. That one gets more praise, I think. I don't think it uh, makes sense, I guess, but like, I'm surprised it took them this long to A, make the sequel, and B, like, the first one is not available on PC, which is whack. We just like reference what other YouTubers think a lot, and that's because like that's the only point of reference we really have as that, to what the yeah. general public thinks. Well, when we then don't, you can look at like whether their videos received well when they liked or disliked it. Well, like I mean, also that we we make it as a point of reference because we don't have any personal experience with it because none of us have played this. Yeah, we probably don't need to play the first one, but I kind of want to so I can get a feel for this one. But when it comes on Steam, I'm probably going to pick it up anyway, because why the fuck not? Uh, so. Even Nakey Jakey said, like, there were so much great things about it, but it was wasted potential, because, like, they didn't follow through on a yeah, certain like it style. Yeah, it lo- let's scroll down a little too far. Um, like, it looks good. It really looks good. And, like, it would be really cool to, like, immerse yourself and just be I was, a fucking outlaw. I was tempted but. to try this game. There's not a lot of those games that I'm tempted to try that are like you know new new games that i like have no interest in or have no like pre-existing interest in because i tried red dead redemption one like five five or six years ago now and i thought it was good but it was it was just grand theft auto for cowboys (laughs) and uh, i think there's more to do in this just from what i hear and there's more detail put into like interactions worlds and missions than there is in gta 5 oh yeah probably in the open world in gta 5 i'm like what the fuck am i gonna do i'm bored out of my mind like i got my car and everything i can go fast and shit that's cool and everything but like what the fuck am i doing <laughs> i was tempted to try this and i was tempted to try god of war and i haven't tried either and god of war is totally gonna be on this list soon Definitely. but that i can understand that okay i'm cool with this being on the list i'll say but i haven't played it Mm-hmm. I just feel like enough people think it's a great game for it to be here. Yeah. Okay, 61. Splinter Cell Chaos Theory. I haven't heard the name Splinter Cell since like 2005. Yeah, I heard the name not for a long time, so I don't know why this is higher than Skyrim next. It came out in 2011? <laughs> I would have thought like an older one would be 
acclaimed yeah. or whatever. I don't know much about it, though. Let's leave it at that, I guess. 60. Super Mario 2? Yoshi's Island. Super Mario World, World 2. 2. Yoshi, Yoshi's Island. It's, it's Yoshi's Island. This game, so fucking nice looking. Like, holy shit. I don't know. <laughs> oh, my God. The art style alone is just like... I, I, it's like the art style is not like, holy shit, amazing. I'm a tried and like, true PlayStation boy. I mean, it's just old Nintendo shit. I really don't know a lot of. It's it's a it's one of the best. It's one it's one of the top tier Mario's. Mm-hmm. Okay. And you're just and you're playing as Yoshi. I'll take your word for it. I, I think you might need to. You might want to give it a try because this game is just so. It's just it's not like you know in um like you know Wind Waker and um Sunshine. How it's just nice to be in that game. In the Ooh. world. Yeah, that's what Yoshi's Island is. Just because of the color palette and the really cartoony art style. Do you think it's too high or too low on the list? Do you I think, think it's, it's deserving to be here. Maybe, it, maybe it needs to be a bit higher. At 60, all right. I don't know what's next to come. All right, we have 40... No, no. We have 60 more games to do. So we should try and get a little quicker with this. Okay. Um, oh, Silent Hill 2 oh. at 59. <laughs> We should get a little quicker. So a Silent Hill game pops up. Ah, fuck. Well, okay, I can be quick about it. I respect this. Uh, even though we didn't have the most fun with the series, I've since we did that series, I've said like I preferred Silent Hill one. Um, I totally respect this being on here, and I respect its placing. I'm I'm happy it's not like too crazy high, honestly. But I don't. Th- I don't think we'll see another Silent Hill game on here, unless it's like fucking PT if they pull that shit. Yeah, which is great. I mean, let me say, which is great, but it's not a fucking full game. Well, it it's on is. every fucking list, everywhere, all the fucking time. Well, okay, if it's there, I'll I'll talk about it. But if it's not, it kind of is a full game, and you have to like, kind of. It's playable judge it for teaser. <laughs> That's what it's called, but. Pretty much, when you look in the history, it like Kojima all pretty much knew that the game wasn't going to be fully released. Like the Silent Hills wasn't going to be a project. Not so, by the time he released PT. Yeah. No. Yeah, before it was, it was released fully, they released PT to hype people up for Silent Hills. And yeah, then that's why Ko- he kept it in there. And then Konami was like, bye, fuck you. Well, okay, well, okay. Or whatever well, it, happened. It, it, it's, a, it's a theory, I guess, but there's lots of evidence to like to explain why, but Kojima knew that it was already a thing that they were going to, that he was going to be cutting him out, demoting him, and like, they weren't going to be doing this, and he was going to get fired. So he left it as a teaser so it can get people hyped, but then pissed off at Konami when they just pull the plug and that's why he wanted did you watch a conspiracy theory video no not conspiracy theory but <laughs> but he fucking that's why he put so much more detail and effort into the game that where it probably wouldn't have normally been in if it were just the demo for silent hills well so like there there was no way the whole game silent hills was gonna be in as much detail as it was gonna be as pt because he wanted to put more time into it because he knew he was going to be getting booted off. Maybe. I mean, for all we know, PT... That's how I'm at least... PT could have been the beginning or a section of Silent Hills. But either way, as Like, it ripped stands, straight from the game. As it stands... It's a teaser, not a game. It's... You take it as its full piece of media. If you get... That's how you take it. I, I disagree. That's like, that's like saying um, the first Star Wars movie to come out, A New Hope, is just... It's a prequel, I guess, because it's number four out of the six movies. Wait, what? What are you? What are you arguing here? I'm saying like, like don't. Ooh, we have to get into this, guys. Okay, whatever. We have to. Yeah. Well, oh. well, because be, because well, it's like saying like you don't judge. You have to judge the three, the whole trilogy of Star Wars, as as opposed to just piece by piece because it's a piece of the movie rather than a whole piece of media. You get what I'm saying? But we don't. I mean, ki- I kind of. I don't. I don't think it's relevant. So, like, what if, um, a new hope? If the Star PT, Wars movie, if the fourth PT, one, okay, was the only Star Wars movie to come out, do we say like 
it's not that good because the rest didn't come out. Like, I think it's a little unfair to be like... It was called episode four. You know it's like part of a larger story. Yeah, but if it wasn't. The thing is with PT is you don't know if it was a standalone thing like Resident Evil 7 with the kitchen demo was a standalone thing. Um, you don't know that because the rest of the game was never released if it was a standalone teaser or if it was like a part of the game itself in it. Like if you would experience that section oh okay now in I the see. actual game you don't we don't know that now i see what you're throwing down pt well, could have been ripped straight from the game like like um like when new games come out and they let you play like the first half hour for example yeah well then then you have to take it as its own thing i take it as a teaser because it's a teaser well we have to we we can we pretty can much f- just have to agree to disagree here yeah we can fundamentally because disagree. We're, we're both kind of right Sure. Or like other Silent well, Hill whatever, 2. Whatever. Blow Silent me. Silent Hill 2. I'm cool with that being here on this list. We and, need to both give a, it a second shot. I'm cool with this placement. Uh, I prefer Silent Hill 1. At, but we both do need to give it another shot, I think. Yeah. Sure. Uh, okay. We've got F58 Grand Theft I do Auto. love the Silent Hill series. Oh, San Andreas. Here it is. Yep. Talked about We talked about Vice City. It's the better one. <laughs> it's probably the best one. Um. San Andreas, I feel like I'm the only one who never uh, was as big as everyone else on San Andreas. Uh, so. uh. But again, that's just because for me, every new Grand Theft Auto is like the, the Grand Theft Auto that you play until there's a newer one. I guess, yeah. But this uh, one's everyone like... It's everyone's like Everyone favorite. points back to this one for a reason. Uh, I just think it's fine. Uh, I mean, all I did in any Grand Theft Auto game ever, still to this day, is just raise hell. I'm not interested in the stories or anything. Yeah, I mean, but there is that aspect of uh, San Andreas, <laughs> of raising hell, of course. All right. Now we should speed it up, because we yeah. just went on a couple tangents. Yeah. Okay, Mass Effect. Uh, I haven't played it. At 57. I know about it, but... I know this, mo- uh, this movie, yeah, it's a movie. Um, <laughs> This game is... Uh, respected by a lot of people and yeah, loved. it and is it's kind of like it, it's kind of like it's a, a borderlands i guess but Chandler loves this loves this franchise so is brandon i i was uh i don't know i have a somewhat mild interest in the series i might eventually get to it but it's the actual gameplay itself that's keeping me from doing it. i don't have a whole lot of interest in this series actually i'd check it out for sure uh all right uh 56 Call of Duty for Modern Warfare. It's a Call of Duty. <laughs> it's Whatever. probably the best one. I don't really remember. Oh, um, I, I guess. I guess it I had do. old school mode. They all kind of fucking blend together. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I, Call I, of Duty's I, on me. I didn't play a bunch of them, but I played four, um, and it had old school mode. I keep peeking ahead, and I need to stop doing that. And you could uh, shoot someone in the head, and they would fly around like a helicopter, and that was fun. <laughs> nice. Uh, 55, Rise of the Tomb Raider. Rise of the Tomb Raider. Okay. Can't, can't speak on it. Go for it. Um, well, I, well, I haven't played it, but I do want to. It came out when Fallout 4 came out. It's, it's on, it's on my list. Um, nobody at GameStop was there to pick up Rise of the Tomb Raider. Oh, yeah, because Fallout 4. They were all there for Fallout 4. But I think I, I, this game might hold up higher than Fallout 4. I don't know, but. Probably. Um. I played partially a, a like Tomb Raider when they like rebooted it, so like there there's like my hook in the franchise of me wanting to get more into it. So yeah, I've never. I'm gonna pick this up again probably sooner than Borderlands Two. I've never Maybe had anything. Not. I've never had uh, any real uh, anything for the Tomb Raider series. It's just it exists and I know it exists. And uh, I think this new one's like kind of like Unchartedy. Uncharted-y? Yeah, that's the word. Sort of plays like Uncharted, Uncharted I think. Which um, which is well, another series I never got into, but it would be cool to I get into I haven't gotten into it, but you did give me the collection, and I, prob- I probably should. Yeah, I think they're pretty good, but I, I haven't played them. So, so now we don't need to say anything if Uncharted's past this. <laughs> I guess, yeah. Okay, 54. Right. Arkham City. Batman Arkham the, City. Eh, eh. You know, but it's like not it? better than Skyrim. Sorry. 
it's good. I like it. I like the Batman games. But Arkham Asylum is better than this, and so it should be higher. But this, the Arkham City is not higher than Skyrim. Sorry. It says, after Arkham Asylum laid the groundwork for a superhero game that hit all the right for beats. For a Arkham City took game. everything to the next level, I'm guessing. I don't know. I'm not reading that. No, it didn't. It took it to the next level. In the kind of IGN guy, so. says so. Well, they tried to, but they just made the world bigger and lots of it inaccessible for bullshit reasons. There's a lot of filler around the place that, yeah, it's not. Eh. 53. It's flat. The Witness. Don't know it. Go for it. Uh, I think this is a uh, <laughs> YMS's favorite game or one of them, like a 10 out of 10 for him. Uh, I tried it. It's not my type of game. Uh, I think you'd like it. It's a puzzle game. Oh, is so that one puzzle, like really, like really atmospheric puzzle game you were playing with, like the fucking lines in the maze thing? Yeah, that was neat. I played it for like an hour, but uh, he he says you gotta play it for like a long time before it gets like really good, and then like the story really like there's there's no characters or dialogue or anything or like story immediately there to be like discovered, but apparently there's a lot to it that you can discover and uh you should just play it is what i've heard sounds uh, like missed uh it's not something i plan to do it's um, not, but it's not, uh, i know okay so it's this game i didn't actually remember what it was called yeah, yeah i think people said that it takes a that it's a lot a like missed or that it's a lot like it or it takes some inspiration oh, okay. so I, I don't know i do i so i guess i would pick it up i'm, gonna I'm surprised to it. see it on here and i respect that it's on here um, uh, it's too high for me uh from, i think from, it is from too what high, i played yeah. from what i played well from what i know and i guess my expectations of it i think it's too high as well but who the fuck knows i haven't touched it yet yeah i haven't i haven't played it till it but quote, sh- gets good so. i should get into it i guess i wonder if mist is on this list we'll see probably not that, that's a bar 52 journey mist, imagine <laughs> 52 journey i uh, never got around to it i have it Still maybe planning to get around to it. It kind of doesn't look like something I'd be into, but I guess that doesn't mean I shouldn't try it. Yeah. Just from videos I've seen of it. Yeah. I don't know. Looks all right. Yeah. I guess. To try it. Maybe to someday. It. Uncharted Fif- 2. 51. Okay. Yeah. We got <laughs> an Uncharted game. Again, we haven't played... Neither of us have played this yet. Should I try to two? I think is the the best one uh, from what people say. It's so. what people say. Oh, maybe it's four. I don't fucking know. Two, two and four people love. Of the original yeah. trilogy, was two. Yeah, I should get into it next. Uh, me too. Okay. Uh, That's it. Fifty. Overwatch trash. Overwatch bad. Give me give me Reddit karma. Said the TF2 fan. Yeah, uh, but I don't, I don't care about it. But actually looking at it, I do think a. There are way too many heroes. B, the screen is way too fucking cluttered to know what's going on. C, oh, I'm just going to stop with the letters. Um, immediately, the HUD is just ass. Like, I look, the health and ammo are both tucked away in the farthest possible corner of the screen. So it's like, how am I supposed to be able to see that? Unless it doesn't matter in the game. But from what I can tell in the game, it, it, there's no just straight bullets. Everything is, like, projectile-based. So, and all the maps... Or like they boil down to choke points, so every battle just comes down to who can click their left mouse button the quickest. And all right. it doesn't seem like there's a, that high of a skill ceiling either. Where like <coughs> all, all you have to do to charge your ultimate like attack for your uh, hero, whatever you pick, is just stay alive, not do damage. And if you die, you don't lose it. I don't have much to say. You at all stay alive, hit shift, you win the game. Next, I think Scott loved this game. Scoot. Uh, loved it and was like oh dude you should totally get into it and I just never did I almost bought it at one point I didn't take a good never look did. at it never did never did still won't it's I didn't take a good look at it and can't say I'm interested alright uh, 49 Deus Ex don't know it I didn't even know how to pronounce that yeah I don't know it uh, okay 48 Baldur's Gate 2 Shadows of M don't know it well, dude, it's better than fucking it's, Undertale. It's R- it's it's <laughs> RPG means, uh, I guess. Yeah, it's better than lots of things. Um, it's better than Pokemon Go. Okay? <laughs> it's better than Pokemon Go. I don't um, know. Forty-seven. Miss Pac. Mrs. Pac-Man. Okay. Um, better than Pokemon. All right. Why misses? 
Or miss, I mean. It's progressive, okay. Uh, you know, no, you, no. you might be on to something. No, I actually don't know. Uh, Miss Pac-Man is the one that I played in, I played in the arcade. So. Oh, my fucking... Hold up. Oh, my God. I just remembered some shit, like... <laughs> I played this game at Bullwinkles. Oh, uh, how fucking old was I? Two. I was in... No, I was in elementary school, but I don't remember which grade it was, because I, I was in an after-school program, and we were getting, like, those really... Really old laptops that were like orange and blue, like really rubber. Really? You remember that shit? And we were playing Miss Pac-Man or something. I had to have been in like fourth grade, third or fourth grade or something. <laughs> and like I said like I said some shit like, Oh, Miss Pac-Man is a snack or some shit. Snack <laughs> man. Yeah, and then <laughs> teacher yelled at me oh my <laughs> okay. god oh yeah she was like you don't say that and i was just like oh sorry let me play the game <laughs> yes i do <laughs> i i it was, just, what, was probably not like oh she's a snack but it was something something along those lines she's sexy she's single she's miss oh, she is single yeah she's the ivy progressive yeah okay 46 counter-strike the original all yeah. right Go for it. Sure. I mean, I guess this is where I'm like, I think CSGO is better. It'll be on here, I bet. Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, I, I can imagine. But, like, I don't know. I know the the older one has a pretty big following as well, but I don't know why you go back to the other one when you have, like, the newer one, I guess. All right. Does that exist? I've got nothing for it. Like, uh, okay. Some other games Here's one have. for you. 45. Nothing for two. You know what? I'll I'll accept it. I guess we're getting to Valve shit now. Um, I think oh, this is pretty deserving. I respect that, that that it's on here. It's a really fun ass game. I can't comment. And I like that stuff for Dead Two, and they didn't try putting one. So yeah, it's at forty five. Everyone next, right. Earthbound. Earthbound. Okay. I respect I that. I respect it. Haven't touched it though. Not have I. I do know that it's huge. So that it probably should be bigger, but I do know vaguely about it. So. Not, not not vaguely, but I do know enough, I guess. 43. I, don't, I know how that made you to Sans. Resident Evil. Oh, that's that's a bit low, honestly. Yeah, well, it's it looks like it's the remake. Yes, it says released 2002. Yeah, okay. I'm okay with this placement. I don't know. Would you put the remake above the original? Yeah. Or are they separate enough for you? Wait, are you asking or are you making a joke? No, I'm asking you. The remake's definitely better than the original. Some people are uh, bu- like they're different or put the above or put the. Uh, no, I definitely yeah. I played them both, and I think Resident Evil Remake is the one to play. Um, when it comes to Resident Evil One, anyway. Yeah, I, I totally respect this uh, at forty three as well because like it's about all games. It's not like a horror games list. Yeah. If it was a horror games list and it was at 43, that'd be fucking ridiculous. I guess, yeah, but I mean, I don't know. Resident Evil seems like... It could be in like thir- top 30, I'll say. But yeah. 43, I'm not going to lose sleep over it. Yeah, it's high enough, but I guess it could be higher. Great um, game, it's high? Yeah. Okay, Uh, 42, Diablo 2. I don't know what this is. Uh, I know what Diablo is, but I don't know it. I haven't played it. Fucking guess not, it's not better than it. Miss Pac-Man. <laughs> Miss fucking Pac-Man. Okay, 41, StarCraft. StarCraft. Uh, that's Sounds a, like something you would know. That's a household name. Uh, I haven't played it. Neither have I. And I don't really know about it. I know Chandler like, really got into it. But like, sadly, it's just one of those games where it's like, people make fun of the name. Where it's like, <laughs> StarCraft, you're, like, you're a nerd for playing that. Like World of Warcraft. Uh-huh. Which is a little sad, but I mean, it's a, it's a strategy-based game. Okay. Heavily, heavily strategy. So, not really interested. Sorry, but makes sense why it's this high. Cutscenes were regarded it. as one of the driving forces, but okay, it's a cutscene heavy game. Weird. Forty. Sure. World of oh, Warcraft. But, uh, World of Warcraft. There you go. Um, yeah, this game was fucking huge for a while. Like so huge. South Park made an episode of it, and that's uh, like one of the best episodes. Okay, so I tried it once when I was. Uh, oh, I haven't played it. When I was like really into RuneScape, <laughs> I tried it, and I preferred RuneScape. <laughs> So I don't know what that if that says something about me. I haven't played it, but like I, I'm pretty sure every game will like it. 
Oh, like the free ones like Wizard 101 and shit. All my friends evolved like, from RuneScape I, to I, World of Warcraft, and I was just like, nah. You know what? If I had like... If my mom let me use her email and I was able to play this game or something, I'd probably be really super heavy into it. Because I try to get into games like this that were free and, or spin off. When you were took, younger? Yeah, or took inspiration from it. And like... It, it, it just felt like... If, if there was more effort put into like the actual thing in the world, like World of Warcraft, then I'd probably be pl- pl- I'd probably play it like nonstop. People still play this though to this day. It's crazy. All right, for me, like I'd be okay with it on this list, but it should be in like the eighties. I don't know. Oh, and okay, I don't think it'd be That's that. Right, I should, only it should be that low. Because I mean, and I've popular. never, I never really played it. I just like if I was trying to do an uh, an objective list of games that everyone fucking loved and whatever, I'd put it. Lower, way lower. All right. Guess it's better than Resident Evil. Oh, you're right. Um, <laughs> now that's getting a little dodgy because I do think it this reputation deserves it. Um, thirty nine no, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. It's a Star no Wars idea. game. Uh, why is it fear? <laughs> it's trash. No, no idea. You already gave your opinions on Star Wars games. Uh, I haven't played it. Ugh. Can't can't comment. Thirty eight. Fallout, Fallout New, New Vegas. Vegas. Oh boy. Haven't played it. You wanted to play it. You haven't played it. <laughs> I started it up. I was like, this is a commitment. I'm not ready for that shit right now. But heard it, it's pretty great. It's I heard it's the if people say it's the best Fallout. It's the best. It is the best game. Out of all of them. So that's it. That's the last Fallout on this list for the next forty games. Yeah. Well, we uh Fallout two and New Vegas are the ones on here? Huh. That's strange. I guess I, I I'm surprised two and not three. Yeah, but why two and not one? I don't I don't know about the, I kind of group yeah. one and two together anyway. But Fallout right. Vegas, yeah, we can't say a bunch. I guess that makes sense. Being in it's cool that it's here. Thirties, so I'm, I'm cool with it being here. All I right. want I want to get into it on my list after I complete Fallout Four. Thirty-seven Never. Final Fantasy six six better than seven. I guess. Better than a lot of things. Shit. I don't right. know. I know nothing about this. Like, take what I know about Final Fantasy VII, and I know even less about this. So yeah. Yeah, I know. We only know that dude with the big old fucking hunk of dunk sword. Yeah. Mr. Okay. M- the boy, Mister Cloud Strife, and I guess it's getting a remake, and then maybe that'll be the time to get into the series. Okay. Yeah. Maybe knows, the, I might try Final Fantasy VII when it comes out. The remake. Remade, but uh, okay. Final Fantasy VI. What do I think of that? I don't know. I think Switch like six and seven, just according to, according like, to well, what you hear from people. Yeah, cor- yeah, just add, add a one to this. Or right. like, why why isn't nine here? Unless it's like even higher, because I guess nine is the only other one that I've heard like has that. There's huge... three Final Fantasies on this list. I'm gonna be a little mad. Like nine seems to be the one that's held with high regard. That's mm-hmm. like you know, other than seven. Whatever, I don't fucking know what I'm talking about. Uh, no, we never do. Okay. 36. Okay, we got Mass Effect, Mass Effect 2. 2. Makes sense. No one liked Mass Effect 3 from what I've heard because of how it ended. I thought Mass Effect 2 was just earlier. Or was that one? No, one. It was oh. one. Uh, okay, so Makes Mass Effect got better. better. We still don't know it. All right, cool enough. Uh, 35. Pokemon Yellow. Why yellow? I'm going to need a minute. Because Pikachu's on here. I'm going to need a minute. I think that's going to be like the last Pokemon on here. Because of how good it is? Uh, no, good. just because they would do that. Right? Like, they're not going to put something from Gen 2 towards the top. Which is what should... They want to do something that makes sense. Which is what should be there. Like, the highest Pokemon game should be from Gen 2, I think. But why yellow? Two or three, I would even say. Like, Fire Red or Leaf Green, the remakes of Gen See, 1. I w- yeah, I would... Put way better. Fire, yeah. Whatever, Why dude. yellow specifically? Yellow sucks. You have... Like, I'd rather play red than yellow, because in yellow, you have the fucking Pikachu following you around, and, and your you talk to me... is grossly ass yellow the whole time. Dude, when you click on that Pikachu, it's like... Pikachu! <laughs> That's what it fucking sounds <laughs> that, like. That's awful. I hope I hope I wasn't like making any noise when you were doing that into the mic, so you can just make that as a sound bite, and then just <laughs> scare the shit out of everyone because that thing sounds like it comes from nightmares. 
it's Jesus Christ. I want to hear that back. I hate any Pokemon game where you're fucking followed by the Pokemon. You know what? If I were editing, <laughs> maybe that's just me being fucking close minded. If I were editing this, and when we do talk about Pokemon, I'm just gonna take. I would just take that that sentence where you're just like, I hate any Pokemon game. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, clearly not from Gen two or three. Uh, Gen one's all right. It's just like. I can respect why they put this. Why, this like, high. Fire Red and Leaf Green exists? Why are you putting anything? Well, I guess from, I respect like, that they put like an older Pokemon game this high. But why not like red or blue? Red and blue, or why green, yellow, or even green, or green. It's a Japanese. I haven't played it. Whatever, fucking whatever. whatever. Thirty-four. Bloodborne. Okay. Bloodborne. Why so low? I think it's I low. Know. From what people say about it, I guess. Yeah. I, you know, I think this is fitting when I'm, you compare my opinion with it and what everyone says. I'm fine with it. I haven't played it, <laughs> but uh, I, I, we're, we're going to get some more Dark Souls stuff towards the top, clearly. Oh, yeah, for sure. But like, I mean, this is pretty different from Dark Souls. It's similar, but different. Yeah. But like, um, well, yeah. so far, I mean, I'm playing it and so far I'm not super gripped into it you lost and, your credibility and, credibility and boy and yeah well i'm sorry that's it i'm that that's that's my hot take two idiots so talk th- about games they don't play well i have played it <laughs> and so far well i haven't played all of it but i'm playing it and so far it's just not doing a whole lot for me all right i'm finding it it's all right sorry it's all right all right Metroid Prime. I'm fine with it being here. Uh, okay, Metroid, Metroid Prime, Prime at 33. Okay. Uh, 32. No, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know anything about Metroid Prime. I don't, I don't really either. Okay, but I do know something about 32. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Resident Evil 4. Yeah, Resident Evil 4. Oh. Um, the most fun game I've ever played. Do you, in do my you think personal, that's too low? In my personal uh, experience. It's definitely too low for my personal list. Yeah, but uh I think it is a little low from like It should be top How much it's re-released? It should be in top 30 at least. It's at 32. And how much it's I'm, talking talked about? This has to be the last Resident Evil then on this list. Oh yeah, for sure. I I'm okay with it being here. Uh I think if it was in the top 20 it'd be cooler. I feel like when we're going to get to the top 20, we're going to or at least top 25, we're going to start being like, "Oh, Okay, why? Er, yeah, because now everything's better than Resident Evil Four. Yeah, because now, well, yeah, well, how do you think I feel about fucking Skyrim? But I think the, I think, mm, I think Bloodborne and Resident Evil are better than Skyrim. Everything's better than Resident Evil Four from here on out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, Shadow of the Colossus at thirty-one. Fair enough. I haven't played it, but I, I definitely want to. I really want to get into it. I've definitely heard how fantastic it is. Yeah. So fair enough then. Sure. We haven't played it. Uh, want to. Metal Gear Solid. Fair enough. The original. See, this is where I would Habit think. Uh, this is where I would think Final Fantasy VII would be. Really? But I don't know. Well, like it's like one of the classics that fucking just gave PS One its fucking reputation. No, I could see it being up here. And gave Kojima his reputation. I could see it up here, but are you saying like Metal Gear Solid shouldn't be this high? No. Okay, because like I get why it's this high, but again, not familiar with it. I I, sh- I want to get into it, but again, it's complicated as fuck. But this, instead of being complicated just for the sake of being complicated, like I said earlier, this is Kojima. We're like We're really like, not familiar with most of this list. This is why I didn't know if this was a great idea, well, but then, we did it anyway, guys. We committed. Well, we then did it. guess what? Now we're just saying like, oh, we should get into a lot of this stuff. So who knows? Yeah. Maybe we'll give ourselves an assignment. So maybe, maybe this will be... It. Like, oh, we'll prioritize what we play. Not from this list, just from like refreshing. Like, oh, yeah, this exists. So everything is better from now on, better than Metal Gear Solid, Resident Evil 4, uh, Final Fantasy 7, and Pac-Man. Miss Pac-Man. <laughs> okay. And, um, and Pokemon oh, Go. Oh, there it is. 29. God of War. God of War. The 4. Uh, the remake. The, okay, wait. Not the remake. The new one. The 2018 okay. one. This one, I haven't played it, but... This does seem a little premature. No, oh, no so matter busted. how great it is, does this not seem a little premature? Well, to put it this high, it's higher than Metal Gear Solid. 
Uh, just by one. I, it's by one, sh- it's not a whole lot. It's higher than Shadow of the Colossus, Resident Evil Four, Metroid Prime, Bloodborne. Like, it's higher than so much shit that's like totally reputable. Okay, may- maybe it's not higher than Resident Evil Four. I don't know, but what. it is a it's a super solid game. I could see why it got Game of the Year last year. Honestly, uh, I I and have my a- favorite game to come out that year was Spider Man PS Four. Oh, that'll be in like top ten. No, no doubt. probably not on this list. Probably like top five. I don't know. I I don't think it's above God of War. Sadly, I definitely do. But like, that's don't strange. even like you're just lying to yourself. No, I think it's great. But like, I think the only thing that is Look, you'll flawed see. about it, you'll is, see, young one, is the well. There's there's some yeah. It's flawed, but it's not it's not a masterpiece. What God of War? I thought you meant Spider Man. Well, Sp- Spider Man's not either. It's going to be in the top five or top ten. I was on a masterpiece either. Definitely top ten, maybe top five. <laughs> okay. They both have flaws with it, which I guess I can get into more detail, but I don't know. I feel like this is premature, but I haven't played the game. God of War, th- this game... This game definitely, almost... I, be- looking at the first trilogy, I wasn't about it. I was just like, hey, whatever. Like This is like old PlayStation where it's just like, oh, angry dude beat shit up. But then after playing through this one, it... it gave me a whole new context for like what the story was the trilogy like it actually made me want to go back and learn what happens in those games so i can better understand and appreciate this game which you don't need to know yeah this- that's the thing so now i want to go back and re- revisit those games that's what this fucking game did to me this one appealed to me enough where i wanted to try it but i still haven't i might someday go for it all right 28 well, I have to say, I definitely recommend it. Okay, this, three. this seems low because uh, everyone who I've heard talk about this game thinks it's literally the best game. I, I definitely want to try it because of it. It's got a huge... That was scare me. <laughs> um, I think it... Yeah, I, 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 I want to try it. I, I don't People know talk it. high about it enough where I'm like, I don't okay. know it. <laughs> everyone who praises it really gives it like the praise. I don't know what the fuck it's about, but I, I, I'll I. Try, I want to try it. All right. 27 bioshock bioshock uh china loves the show this game. i feel like this is weirdly high but maybe i'm just uneducated it is weirdly high but it, it makes sense in 30s maybe not this high though but again i haven't played it i'm sorry yeah, i know someone it, talking on the internet has same. not played bioshock well me too sorry it's it's higher than everything we've named <laughs> yeah that's that's it it's I a guess. little weird all right uh it's better than okay. God of War. Okay. Okay. We're too high for a game I've never heard of to be here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I've heard of it. Okay. I see Mo playing this fucking game all the time. Okay. 26, Sid Meier Civilization 4. I don't know it. <laughs> I don't know it either. Oh, okay. I don't know what the fuck this is about. It looks like Sims, but uh, set in the 1700s. All right, maybe it's fine. I'm just saying I feel like I should know every game from now on. Maybe that's my own fault. I'm sorry. 25. No, uh, not your fault. Uh, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. What? 25. What? That's fine. That's fu- oh, I, maybe maybe people came to their senses because like, the game isn't as amazing as people say it is. Uh, sorry, don't kill me. I think it's fine that it's here. I think it's fine that it's here as well. Okay, cool. It's great, but it's not flawless either. Well, people it's say at, it's at twenty five, so I feel yeah, like a quarter of the way down this list is fine. That's that, that's fine, yeah. That's and like, that's from someone 25. who that's from someone who has never enjoyed a Zelda game. Well, I've tried to play it, so I've tried to play Zelda games, not this one, admittedly, but I've tried Twilight Princess and uh, Breath of the Wild, and I've never enjoyed a Zelda game. I've tried playing. I've got about halfway through. The game before I got stuck, and believe it or not, I did not look up a guide. We are like the least. Like, ah, well, I'll drop it. We're the least reputable fucking sources <laughs> like ever. You don't like you games. don't like Bloodborne, and I don't like fucking Breath of the Wild. And yeah, <laughs> I, okay. it's not like I don't like Bloodborne. I just don't. I don't want to hop on his dick. All right, yet. I don't think it deserves it yet. Sorry, I don't like grinding for healing. I think it's fucking stupid. Uh, I haven't played it's- Ocarina of Time. That's the one I've been always the most interested in trying for one reason or another. So. Because that's like the number one like 
undeniable best Zelda from everyone. It's just the one I saw Brandon playing when I was pretty young, and I was like, this looks like a game I'd play, but I never did. Yeah. 24. Okay. Minecraft. Okay. Solid. I'll I'll accept it this high. I won't I'm not gonna lose sleep over it. It's too high. Fuck you. <laughs> it really is. Like, I'm fine. It was gonna be on the list, but that's your hot take. Is you're not a fan of this game, but no, God, good goddamn, I love I've this game. I've got I've got enough hot takes to go around in this list. <laughs> you got enough hot takes to feed the whole fucking country. Yeah. All right. Uh. Well, I'm sure you're happy it's here. Yep. Um. I'm. I'm glad. Oh. oh. You really don't think it's a little too high compared to everything? Oh uh, damn it! I scrolled down a little too prematurely, but no, I don't think it's that high. It's a ti- It's. I think this. I think Minecraft is deserved the timeless. Like, Why? Just because it looks like shit? No, because you can revisit it any time and it won't get old. <laughs> All right, Fucking whatever. Fucking twenty three. Don't. Mm! Ding, ding! Twenty three. Halo Combat Evolved. It's too high. No, it's not. It's not even the best Halo. It was it, the fact that the first one came out and it's as good as it is, which I think also still holds up and is pretty up there in terms of being timeless i think there's a reason why it's here i tried it and i didn't like it i love it and i love the pvp <laughs> with it so i mean because i tried to get into the whole series and i was like if i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do it the right way i'm starting with the first one and i immediately just no nah. no i love i definitely love it Didn't i still love the it. pvp with it all but right I, I bought an great. Xbox to fucking and try this shit. I think it's deserving. And I returned the and, Xbox. And I should just say, while we're talking about Halo, I'm so fucking excited. Tomorrow, Reach comes out on PC. Gang gang. Cool. On Steam, I mean. So, bet. 22. You bet your ass I'm going to be doing tomorrow. 22. Half-Life. Half-Life. All right. I need to play this. It's oh, like you haven't played it? No, I haven't. I don't know anything about it, but like... I, know. I feel like if I do play it, I might just kill myself because, you know, 3 doesn't exist and never will. Half-Life is the most anticipated game of all time. Half-Life 3, that is. Yes. Um. Well, most anticipated to the point where it's actually just not going to come out. I've never played any Half-Life. Uh, I definitely, it's like, it, it's it's almost like a necessity, I feel like. I, like, I have like but you a haven't civic done duty in games I need to play, it, but I just haven't done it. All I've ever heard is how good it is, but I never actually hear people talk about it. Because it's old and like, it's just, it's like a story, like, it, it, I don't know, like, I don't All know, right. maybe people don't <laughs> talk, maybe people don't talk about it because they try not to like, lose their minds that three isn't out, but. 21. All right, you guys are moving on. Um, Metal Gear Solid 3? Snake, Snake Eater. Eater. What? I don't know anything about this okay. or why it's here. So how do I? I would have thought the first one was. I thought, I thought this was like the convoluted one. Yes, yeah, snake with the eye patch. That's not actually snake, I guess. I didn't hear. I don't think I've ever heard people that like, MGS three is the best one, but maybe I just don't know MGS twenty. Maybe we just don't know games. I guess that's oh. what we're learning on this on this podcast here. <sighs> I am disappointed. Oh. <laughs> I am disappointed. <laughs> I knew it would be here, so I guess like every every uh. Every passing one that wasn't this was just like, ugh. Uh, guys, it's gonna be we're, higher. We're not, we're not children. We're, we're no, we're not reputable. No, after, we're not. after this, we're definitely not. Number okay. twenty, the last, the of last us. of us. I played it. I played it like a month or two ago. Now it was a month ago. It was definitely over a month ago. Jesus Christ! No, yeah, I played it before I went to L.A. I played it over two months ago. Guys, it's The Walking Dead, but it's a game. And uh, the gameplay sucks. The gameplay sucks, dude. I'm just going to let you take the floor, man. The gameplay sucks. I hated it. I I don't know. I wrote a whole fucking giant-ass paragraph about this one. so um, But but I won't read that because we still got 19 games and... We gotta be wrapping this shit the fuck up, but I don't know. That's what that's where I'm gonna leave it for now. Maybe sometime I'll read my paragraph I wrote to review this game. I did think the story was good and effective. The characters were good. 
for the most part. They did just go and fucking introduce some people just to have them leave or kill them off to fucking like manipulate your emotions here and there. It's it's really fine. I think my overall ranking for this game was a seven because the story and presentation and like the world itself was like that good. It felt good. But guys, we'll see this that. is not the best game of all time and it's like nowhere near it. I don't know, dude. Well, see, this is the, the gameplay loop is is awful. It's really, I hated it. Well, see, this is kind of what uh, this is kind of what um, my opinions are to a lesser, like not as strong either. Uh, this is what my opinions are on God of War. I don't think the gameplay was bullshit. Oh, okay. But I thought it was frustrating, and lots of it was like tacked on like the rpg aspects to it and i thought the combat was pretty linear and it's and it was lackluster like it sucked i'm just gonna say the combat in the god of war sucks uh but, yeah i mean if this game I, don't know, I see i saw i saw a playthrough of it i haven't personally played it because i didn't own a ps3 you know when it came out if the um, last of us okay sorry uh and now I, would, I was just gonna say like it kind of just Looks like a game that I would play now and won't really have trouble with it, but maybe that. But I did see it when I was a lot younger, and who knows? I probably might agree with you if I play all the way through it. I just think if The Last of Us didn't shove the stealth mechanic down your fucking throat, it would be fun. But like, I like stealth if, games, stealth in games. I mean, I I guess I'm just impatient. I don't know. I mean, I'm a fucking idiot, but I didn't like the gameplay at all. I hated how. Everything was so stealth driven. I said when this came out, because I gave like the story and presentation and everything like an eight out of ten, and I gave the gameplay like a four, but I gave it the benefit of the doubt and like overall gave it a seven. Uh, mm. If the gameplay loop was like akin to Resident Evil 4, which I know sounds like extremely biased, but. Resident Evil 4 is fun when you're playing it. Should, if this game was fun to fucking play, it would be like a 9 or 10 out of 10. Com- like, honestly. Straight up. Maybe people had fun with it. Uh, this so game was fun. 10, but we should move on. We should. I just I had to get into it. It was a big game to address. Okay. 19. Doom. Okay. The, uh, 1993 Doom. I don't know why not. Honestly, I don't know why not in the remake. Real not, old horror game, right? The new one. Uh, not, was it a horror game? I don't know. It's just... It is now. You, 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 you go to hell, you kill demons? Yeah. It kind of did the whole, like... It was like 2D, but it was 3D. It was fucking crazy. I never but played it. Was, it was like gory and like really fucking like fucked up at the time, which like seems pretty updated now. Yeah, I never played it, which I guess is like... Well, obviously I haven't either, because it's old as shit. It's the sentence that sums up this episode today. I've never played it, but... Uh, <laughs> and this is how we found out that we are not reputable. But, uh, do you think it's too high or too low? Or I think it's way too high. I think it's too high as well, but again, I'm just going off of... Uh, Better than the last of us. The public but. reception of it, like... Yeah, every, I've never heard someone be like, "I didn't like it," but I do want to really? play the um the the twenty sixteen one. Okay, I'm surprised I haven't already, but yeah, I just want to go around killing demons. I would try it in the fun. I'd try it in the virtual fucking reality, because that's what they call it. Yeah, it seems like a little because well, Doom has the BFG. That's why it's VFR. What's V BFG? The big, big friendly giant. Gun. Big friendly giant. <laughs> The big fucking gun? Yeah. Really? Yep. See, like, that shit, like, actually turns me away from it. Well, it's because it's, it's, it, it's like the, um, the, That's the like cheesiness. You, it's like you're trying so hard to be cool, you're like, I put the word fucking no, in there. No, it's definitely just cheesy. Okay. It definitely knows what it is. Okay. Because, like, if you can stick fucking in there to be we should cool move on and edgy, played it. then, uh. I, I'm just getting that out there. I'm just trying to move this along, yeah. Well, no, I know what you mean, well, but it's get, definitely there. cheese factor like there we go. new Resident Evil. There we go, Trigger. There yeah. it is. Haven't played it. I know it's a lot like Earthbound with 
time travel and shit. Chrono Trigger at 18. We don't know. Sure, it. yeah. Okay. Sure. Portal at 17. Portal. Why not Portal 2? It's better. <laughs> Sorry, but I mean, it's great. Yeah, Valve. I'm glad that I'm seeing Valve games as high. I haven't played them. <laughs> I want to. This one I am interested in. It's like you see this. You see the portal, the red, the red and blue portals, and it's iconic. So it's not uh, red, it's orange, but you get the point. Yeah. It's just the fact, it's like when you think about like when they first did this fucking gameplay like m- mechanic into their engine, it's just that honestly, it blows my mind to think about how they fucking pull that off, honestly, and make it so seamless and how it uses fucking um, uh, momentum and shit and like how each fucking puzzle room gets more difficult and actually uses the engine as like more stuff that you learn like using momentum and all that it's crazy but portal 2 definitely has a lot more shit going for it especially in its story cool but portal does fucking lay down the groundwork with all that next six oh what 16 okay dark souls dark souls a little sad that this is this that it's not higher but that's not higher <laughs> Go- you, you me- can suck a dick. That's me being greedy. Yeah, honestly, like when I look at my top three, I'm like, yeah, none of them are here. Uh, none of them are going to be in the. Resident Evil oh. 4 is the only one that's going to be there, and it's at number 32. You know, it, it uses the Japanese cover art, which is the best cover art for this game, which I wish they had used for the actual one, but they fucking didn't. <laughs> but yeah. All right. I mean, I I think it's very very deserving to be up here, even though I give it lots and lots of shit. You sure do. But now do, everything above this is better than Dark Souls. But I do love this game quite a bit. <laughs> so that's true. Street um, Fighter Two at fifteen no, is better than Dark Souls. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, it's, I think Street Fighter does deserve to be on this list, but it, but better than Dark Souls? No. I don't think so. Uh, Where's Mortal Kombat on this list? I've never played a Street Fighter higher. game. It it's, could still be higher than I, this. I think old Street Fighter like fucking just pretty much started the whole fucking fighting um game style. Yeah, that's and, like, what it's actually gonna... made it like kind of competitive and like started esports and shit. When we get to Mortal Kombat, it's gonna be a like Street Fighter started it, but Mortal Kombat defined it. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> okay, fourteen. Right, fourteen. Super okay. Mario Bros. for the NES. Original Super Mario Bros. Yeah, better than um um the fucking um the uh, Sunshine. Better than fucking Super Mario Galaxy. You don't know that. We haven't seen those on here or not. That's true. I guess you're right. You're <laughs> right. They could be next, but still. Why would have, you put the original, like, Super Mario yeah, have, 3? Has anyone even fucking finished the... Yeah, I'm just fucking making Isn't Mario 3 and Mario World, like, aren't those the peak of the series? To, to Mario fans? Yeah. Okay. I was just making ones. sure. So is Sunshine in 64. I'm talking about the side-scrollers. Like, the original Mario style. Oh. Before it became a 3D platformer. Yeah. And Yoshi's Island, too. Better than this one. I don't know. Maybe it just uh, it is like the first game you think of when I say think of a video game. Thirteen's for you. Like one, uh, thirteen, Halo two. Hey gang, we got two Halos, boys. All right, I'm well, glad that they acknowledged that. How Halo are 2. you surprised at that? Well, I'm just glad they acknowledged <laughs> that Halo two is better than Combat Evolved. But anything's I know, they, better. They could've, I could just had one Halo on this fucking list, and I got I got Halo Two, where they made an amazing ass game and fucking made it even better somehow. Like this game was the most, uh, one of the most anticipated games of probably like ever. Like it's, I think it has the record for the most copies that sold on the day the day it released. It's crazy I, shit. I can't back that up or not. I'm, I just I fucking love Halo. All right, just number twelve, Castlevania, Castlevania Symphony of the, of the Night. Night. This is a side scroller, boy. Why, right where you play play as Alucard. I would not play this game. I, I'm into it. It's. I like the I, art surrounding the series, though. Yeah, I would get into it. Like the whole like um, uh, gothic kind of art. I would not the play it. Like Bloodborne, but I can respect it being here. That's that's the extent of it. I haven't played it clearly, so 
On to 11? Grand Theft Auto 5. Okay. Oh, GTA. Okay. Okay. We just, we already, I thought we were done with Grand yeah, Theft Auto. Yeah, I thought we acknowledged that San Andreas was the best one and GTA 5 was boring. No, I think they're all... Oh, well, then again, I haven't played through the, the, the story and I guess that's what GTA 5 does pretty good. Like I said, if I was going to play a Grand Theft Auto at this point, since it's the newest one, it would be 5. But... The, the like the highest ranking Grand Theft Auto should be at like fucking fifty. If Can you I ask, ask me? like why the fuck is it when I boot up when I try to play GTA Five online, does it have to pop me in the single player mode for twelve seconds, and then I gotta hit multiplayer, and then it throws me back into a loading screen that also takes another five fucking minutes to load in and find a server, just to be filled with twelve year old hackers. GTA Online on this sucks. All right. Sorry. Top ten. <laughs> I got top angry. ten territory. Super Mario sixty four. There we go. That belongs there. Yeah, it does. We haven't played it, but we know it does. It belongs there or higher, probably. We do. <laughs> yeah, we haven't played it. But 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 I know you do definitely want to play sixty four. Dude, you know what they're gonna do on us? They're gonna put Odyssey higher. Odyssey is very good. I really love Odyssey. So. Odyssey is very good, but they're gonna put Odyssey higher than they're going to put Odyssey in the top 10. Yeah. I, I'm a, just a firm believer that anything that's like come out in the last two years, you're jumping the shark. I don't know, man. I, I jumping the shark. I haven't heard that. I heard jumping the gun. Uh, number nine, Red Dead oh, Redemption. Oh, yeah, jumping, jumping the gun. Jumping the shark means something else. Yeah, I was like, I haven't heard shark, Um, but sure. You haven't ever heard jumping the shark? No. It doesn't mean that, but it means like jumping the shark is like doing something ridiculous that wouldn't happen in like a... Oh. In like a movie or something. I usually just say you're being an idiot. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean like in a movie or a game or something, if something like that's just like way outlandish happens, you're like, yeah, you jump in the shark. Yeah. Yeah. It's a reference to an episode of an old show where someone actually literally jumped a shark. And I forget which show, but I should know. <sighs> Boss is home. <laughs> I don't know why that one came to mind. Totally. Nine. Red Dead Redemption. I get it. We talked about it. I get why it's here. I guess. I don't know about top 10, though. No, but the people who stand this game, I just use that term. Uh, I don't know. I like, think it's like the best. Like It's like The Witcher. But Do I think it's better than Skyrim? No. I don't think it's better than Dark Souls either, but I, I guess think I haven't given it a fair shake. I think it's Grand Theft Auto for Cowboys. <laughs> for fucking yeehaws. For fil- filthy yeehaws. I don't know, man. All right. I didn't play enough of it. I played the story for like two hours of five years ago. I'm whatever. It's cool. Whatever. Oh, okay. Here we go. Half-Life 2 at 8. Makes sense, I guess. That, that's all I got to say about it. <laughs> all right. Again, people don't talk about it. It's surprising how little they do, but... We don't know it. Uh, I do know it like, has such a fucking... Has, it just has a name for itself. Yeah, we we don't personally know it. We already mentioned this. Yeah. Seven. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. Now, oh, this now, is an ad. Now, no, no, no. Now take a second and this realize that this is higher than Dark Souls. Oh, fuck off. This is higher no, than... What, no, 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 no. This, this is harder than Dark Souls. Are you kidding? This is higher than Dark Souls. This is higher than Resident Evil 4. This is higher than God of War. You know what you have? This game has a better gaming experience than Dark Souls. Skyrim, guys, God at, of War, at The Last of Us, Red Dead Redemption, Half Life, better than all that. The He's highest Pac-Man. gaming, the, the higher, the highest gaming experience. Tetris, it's Tetris. Da, 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 da. Yeah, what you we bl- got Tetris at number seven of all time. How are they fucking? How do they claim that this is based on like how it holds up, how fucking great it is to play? Your well, gaming experience. Like, you're, you're going to remember this forever. Anyone who knows me knows I had a huge ass Tetris phase. And it's fun, but man, I'm, I'm like, I'm done with it. It's just, that's it. It's like, it's an arcade game. It's like, it's meant to be repetitive and shit. See how, like, how yeah, score it's, you can it's get. a kill time it's game. A, it's yeah. literally the game me and Austin fucking there, used there, as, like, like. <laughs> there is lots of brain power, and it's like a really quick, like, Puzzle, puzzle solving thing, but it's like once you play enough of it, it's the same thing pretty much. It's this. There's a pretty set meta, and like, just 
I don't know, I can't say it's a higher experience than any of the games of, like below it. Literally any of them. It's the lowest fucking standard of gaming that I can think of, and that's how me and Austin treated it <laughs> when we were growing up. We didn't even like it when we were kids and didn't know any better. I think it's fun, but I don't believe it deserves to be in the top 10. I don't think it deserves to be in the top 100. Ooh. No, oh, that's rough, but... I'm serious. Like, how are you going to have more fun playing I, this than again, any I, modern I, game? I wouldn't put any... Um, Back is better. Oh, my God. <laughs> it actually is, though, but I wouldn't put... That's just because I wouldn't put any arcade game into this. No, I wouldn't either. But but it, it's not anymore, but it's an arcade-like and it's an arcade-style game. I so. almost mentioned, like, early on in the list when I was thinking about it that Tetris is going to be way too high, and here it is. Yeah, but we'll just move on. We 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 talked about it enough. All right, yeah, <laughs> fucking six. Super, Super Mario, Mario Bros. 3. 3. There it is. Fair. Fair. It's really good. Really I already said to... yeah, it should be higher than one. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, next one. I, I saw what's next. I Number don't... five, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I think this is jumping the gun. As someone who likes Breath of the Wild, I don't know. That's to say this is already one of the highest games of all fucking time. It's number five. Number five. It's in the top five. I just don't know about that. Sorry. Just, well, that means Spider Man is in the top five. I would put it. You say that. No, I'm positive. I don't know. No, I, I won't accept that. Even though it's my favorite game, I'm, I'm not. I won't accept. I don't think it's. It's going to be there. But uh, yeah, this is this is wrong. Uh, I don't like the game. I know everyone likes the game. I'm trying to speak objectively here. This is still too high. If they put it at like 20, sure. Yeah, I agree. And I still don't like it, but I could agree with it being in like at twenty. <laughs> All right, four. And I'm and I'm a little thought that Wind Waker's not on here. Super Metroid. Oh okay, yeah, I was that, wondering that, what that this was. That one's just not going to be on here. I don't think at this point. But yeah, no, definitely not. Maybe Super, Super Metroid. Metroid. You know what? I could fucks with this. I really like want to properly try to play it. I already did before, but I just got lost and didn't have the patience with it. But I definitely do want to actually play this. Not my kind of game. Definitely my kind of game. Not for me. Not for me, mate. But uh whatever. It's fine. Whatever. Three. Right. Three. Portal, Portal two. Oh, Portal two. So they we got both we got all the portals here. It's the third best game of all time though. I don't know about that. Mm, it's very good. I don't know about three, but it's super good. And you know, I'm not gonna I'm I'm not gonna be upset that a Valve game is top three. So you can hear any objections from me. It's Spider-Man's better, number two. It's just better than Portal 1. Just the story does way more with its mechanics. There's even, there's fucking co-op multiplayer. I spent many hours just doing the co-op, and I will happily revisit this game to play all of it through and just have fun with it. GLaDOS yeah. is one of the best villains in games. Yeah, I'd try this game. And so is, well... Yeah, the other fella. If you, <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm gonna go away from the other from yeah, spoiler territory. I guess. Okay, but, two. Yeah, two. Spider oh, I thought this was. Oh, what do you think this was? I thought it was the really really bad Zelda. I thought it was a meme. Oh, this is this the one is, that's like stupid. I could eat an octorot. Oh. <laughs> that one. You mean for the fuck? Uh, the Dreamcast? Yeah, whatever the fuck. Yeah, just like the animated one. Yeah, no. Uh, uh, l l l number two, Legend of Zelda: Link to the Past. Sure. This, this. Wait. Oh no, it's Link to the Past. Okay, for, my ass thought it was Link's Awakening. See, we both thought it was different things, <laughs> just because they used really strange cover art for it. Um, whatever man I thought it, I was like Link's Awakening they're just trying to hype up for that remake um, yeah I want to give it a try they put how many Zelda games in the top 10 just two was it three two uh, okay Ocarina of Time was 25 um, Link to the Past I mean I do want to give it a shot but is it number two I don't know I think I tried to and I just was like nah give me a headache maybe I don't fucking know I think it's oh yeah, it's also pretty linear actually. I can't comment. The like the dude, I think the past is pretty linear, but like the um, the music, the art, and like just what well, it does, it does a lot of things right. But as a Zelda, I don't fucking know. All right, number one, the best game one? of all time. Okay, okay, <laughs> we're gonna avoid Legend of Zelda's and Mario's to not oversaturate it. Number one, Super Mario World. 
Okay, so like I said, when Super Mario was at number 11 or whatever, I was like, aren't three? Oh, it was at 14. I was like, aren't three in Super Mario World considered the best? Yeah, well, they are. Even by IGN. That's all I have to say. <laughs> Uh, uh, is they that put the, like so much fucking Mario is here. Is that the best game of all time? I don't know. I don't think so. But the, I don't know what is if you were to ask okay, me that question. That's the, a loaded question. The top six are it's like. Loaded diaper. <laughs> the top six are Super Mario Bros. 3, Zelda Breath of the Wild, Metroid Portal, Legend of Zelda, Link to the Past, Super Mario World. Yeah, very weird they put Portal. In there, it seems so out of place because it's like Nintendo, 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 Valve, Nintendo. Yeah, that's it, everyone. It's a little know. weird. Um, it just it feels like they like just forgot about a lot of things. Honestly, and I'm really things are weirdly high and weirdly low. Like, why the fuck is Skyrim so low? I'm genuinely extremely surprised. Spider Man wasn't on there, and I think this list. Oh yeah, at all like you can get rid of that fucking those some of those weird ass ones and put Spider Man on there. This list, uh, I believe, yeah. Spider Man deserves to be at least like maybe thirty or forty. This whole list uh, might have been not updated since Spider Man came out. It's possible. No, no, it came out before. Yeah, because Resi Two was on this list. Oh no, wait, yeah, it came out. I forgot before, but yeah, no, it that came out in Resi Two. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. You know, for some, again, genuinely... it really makes you feel like Spider-Man. Oh, they also fucking put uh, Arkham City and uh, Arkham Asylum. No, I'm genuinely surprised game, but yeah. Spider-Man wasn't here. There was, there's no Crash Bandicoot, no Spyro. Tisk. I think uh, IGN just sucked Nintendo's there, dick all there's, day. There's no Knack? Knack? <laughs> there's no Knack? Knack, too? <laughs> they didn't even put Melee? Or brawl, no, no but, smash out of the ultimate. But actually, they like no Spyro and no Crash is pretty fucked up. You'd think they'd get a nod. Oh yeah, in in a hundred games. Yeah, <laughs> they put Tetris there. Uh the, the I'm gonna pull up my fucking list that I had. Um, <sighs> yeah, how, how many of them were even on this list? Uh, Resident Evil Four was on the list. Fuck, Fuck. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> not Resident Evil Seven, even not not even Seven gets a fucking fair shake. Amnesia didn't didn't get anything on this list. Oh yeah, Amnesia. Fucking Pokemon Yellow all. is the best Pokemon. <laughs> Yeah, is it like, yeah, we just have lots of questions, I guess. Nothing on my list made this list. Except Resident Evil 4 and Resident Evil 2 Remake. Yeah, uh, Mist wasn't on there. Super Mario Maker? Mist wasn't on there, but Sims 1 was. And that one puzzle game that's a lot like Mist um, isn't. RuneScape? Firewatch? RuneScape, yeah, absolutely. TF2, yeah, dead game, I guess. TF2 should have been on there, probably. It definitely should have been. The fact that it still has a player base going on more than 10 years later, and we haven't had an update in three years, says something. Like, I'm not saying Until Dawn should have been on there, but, like, seeing what else is on the list, like, I feel like they would have put it there, but they didn't. That, that sentence might be a little confusing, but I know what I mean. But I know what I mean. Uh, Super Mario Maker should have been there, for sure. There was no Mortal Kombat. Huh? There was no Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Like, I knew from my top five, like, I knew Night in the Woods definitely wasn't going to be there. Um, Undertale, or not, no, Until Dawn uh, probably wasn't going to be there. Resident Evil 4 I knew was going to be on there. Sly, I figured, wouldn't get any nods, and it didn't. And Spyro, I thought they would... Give a nod to Spyro, even if it was in like the eighties or Surprise, something. I'm a little upset that Wind Waker or Sunshine wasn't on there, but that too. Those are definitely just close. To, those are that, not not just close to me. They are just they're very good. They're big. They're big dogs. I think they probably weren't. That's probably what took the fucking hit 
when they were like, we're not going to put every Legend of Zelda and every Mario here. <laughs> That's probably what they cut. Plus the NES version That's of Mario That's the fat that there. they cut. Yeah. Um, the f- no guitar here either. Yeah. Okay, I'm cool with Rock Band being there, but not Guitar, <laughs> not guitar Hero. I'm cool with it. I just thought they'd put Guitar Hero there and higher than Rock Band. Okay. Um, another I guess long, that's it. Yeah, another long-ass episode. Yeah, I guess we could keep going, but I mean, no, we, it's IGN. They're fucking they're, they're monkey brains. All right, yeah, we, we won't keep going. They didn't have WarioWare. Can you believe it? <laughs> I'm glad it isn't. You know, that should have been at 100, so uh, I could just say every game is better than that one. Pokemon Go. Pokemon Go. Pokemon Go die. <laughs> yeah, everything that didn't make it on the list uh, that I love, uh, Pokemon Go is better than them. Apparently. Oh, he, oh, fuck. Why'd you put it in that perspective? Uh, Thank you, IGN. Yes. Thank you. You know, I, I didn't get as fucking it's better than there's no slender. I didn't get as like heated as I thought I would. Better than Batman Vengeance. Yeah, we, we, we more we more more so ended up talking about every game that we knew it's, instead uh, of like arguing their spot and like yeah. giving our. Well, we, yeah, we just gave the thoughts on the because well, we just that we accepted knew. like, yeah, I just got stupid. Whatever. All right. You know what? <laughs> At least. Oh yeah, I guess I'm it's tired. I'm late. What? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's tired. I'm late. Oh, I, I actually swear to God, I didn't mean to say that. Uh, I swear you meant to. No, I honest, uh, honest to G. Uh, I was just gonna say at least Ape Escape didn't make that list. Can you believe Tetris is better than Miss Pac-Man? Fuck, dude. Why? Why, why Mrs. Pac-Man? Whatever. Um, we yeah, have we'll, we'll, we have something new to do yeah, uh, we'll, before we go that we've been planning. Believe it or not. Yeah, and we've been bad at it, but uh, we also spoiled it for each other. But you guys don't know that. <laughs> yeah, but we're, we're this is just the first one, so we've got recommendations for each other, and we'll be uh, this, sh- these are like assignments, I guess. Yeah, they're assignments for each other, uh, and we'll be. We'll be checking these things out and talking about them in the next episode. So we'll have this next, this uh, like a week, yeah, to like do it, check it out, or whatever. It could be anything from like play this game, listen to this album, or watch this movie, or anything of the sort. Yeah, and uh, read a book, I guess. But. And uh, no, books and TV series are too long to, to yeah. do in a week. Um, Fucking bet. For you, I I, yeah, yeah. I I can't count on you to do that. I don't shit. got that kind of time. Sorry. <laughs> so, uh, I guess uh, you want to give me your rec. All right. So my recommendation, which changed the first one, but I'll give it to you. I'll give the, you the first one next week, I guess, or something different. I'll think of something. I got a few in mind, but this first one, I guess, it's fitting. From what we talked about, or from what I kept saying in this uh, podcast, play Skyrim. Mm-hmm. Just give it a fair shake. You don't have to play all of it. You don't gotta play fifty hours of it. Just like realistically, ten ten hours is, should be plenty. Just get like a good idea of it. The non like, VR version, around. yeah, non VR. So you can get it on Steam or something. Plug your controller into it, or like get it. I know they have it on. Um, playstation yeah you so. know i'm getting it on playstation well yeah and i mean it probably sounded great on your fucking sound system and your yeah. new tv so touching bet and I, but i'll say get it on um I, I mentioned steam because you can just mod it and then go crazy yeah I, i'd rather just play it as it's meant to be played yeah but you can still fuck around like with it. an old-fashioned fart yeah but you can still fuck around with it and make <laughs> shit funny if you want to, because I know that's how you want to play it. I I was I want you to record it, but I might be asking a bit too much. It's just funny to watch you play it. You're asking so too like, much. No, I, I <laughs> I'm just would I, I would be genuinely entertained just by watching you play it. Like, um, I'll just sit here and actually not be on my phone watching you. Okay, um, uh, but you can go through like quests, side quests, main quests, whatever the fuck, and actually play the game if you want to. Like see. If 
you want to get like the full experience, but by all means, fuck around for ten hours. All right, well, and you, let me know what you do. You should uh, play it too, or something. So unless you think you'll have enough to say, I played it enough. The goal is to be able to talk about this stuff in in sort of depth for like probably twenty minutes each. I played it enough. Next podcast. My recommendation for you is Goodwill Hunting, the movie. Um, I keep hearing Goodwill Hunting. Yeah, Goodwill Hunting. Uh, I watched that movie again this week. Uh, I hadn't seen it since a year or two ago. I watched it with Mo, and I was like on my phone, and I wasn't paying attention, and I was being stupid. But uh, I rewatched it this week, and I fucking loved it. I thought it was really great, and I might just rewatch it another time. Just so I have enough to say about it um, next week when we talk about it. Um, great movie, Robin Williams. Yeah, you showed me the cover. I didn't know Robin Williams was in it because uh-huh. I just haven't seen the movie. But saw him. So I had a beard. New York serious Robin Williams, and I know now I'm gonna get sad. Uh huh. And uh, God, he is great in the movie. But we'll talk about it uh, next week. Uh, it was written by fucking Matt Damon and Ben Affleck. I didn't know they fucking wrote movies. Strange. Yeah, right? But, uh... Yeah. Matt Damon. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you doing? Sorry, just every time I hear his name, I have to say it like that. Cool. It's just like... It's just habit. Sorry. All right, well, uh, thanks uh, for joining us on this podcast yeah, um, what an interesting one. Today we learned we're not reputable sources and we need to play yeah, more games. Yeah, this was a kind of and, a train wreck. And that we need more. We need to play more games. But at least we're like, hey. I, I think we're just wrong. I most, mean. Yeah, we're, we're just wrong. And IGN's that, wrong, but so are we. Yeah, who, who's more wrong? <laughs> you <laughs> vote, decide. Vote your answers in the comments down below. Next time we'll talk about uh, Skyrim and Goodwill Hunting. That's a pair up. Yeah. <laughs> that, we're going to get and, interesting uh, pair ups. And we'll. We'll do some. We'll do like a main thing too, I guess. But since we always end up going for like two and a half hours, I guess we'll have to we'll have to shorten it down to like a topic we can cover within like just an hour, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. Whatever. All right. Um, I guess I'll blow out this candle, and I'm gonna get the fuck to bed. Cool. Sounds good. All right. <sighs> <sighs>